All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's uh, Monday after. Uh, it's long... not Monday, bitch. I meant it's. Uh... And start with a little excitement. Uh, sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Good God, man! It is. We've uh... been here forever. Well, that's why. I, that's why I'm a little tired. Good God! What time You're is tired? It? What time is it? I woke up at five a.m. Me too, oh, man. I've been shooting. Me um, too, brother. Five a.m. Straight back from Dublin. Zero sleep. Average two hours sleep on the road. That's fun. Yeah, that's man. A good time. You're tired. It's been a beast, I've man. Been walking long days. It's been a beast. Um, it We're is back in studio. Thursday. No, it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. It. You got this, man. I think I got brain trauma. You'll figure it out. Um, you're back. Did you like England or Ireland better? Um, I liked it all, man. Uh, yeah. London was dope. Manchester was cool. I love Dublin, though. I love Dublin and Ireland. Yeah. People are so friendly. Yeah. People are so friendly and. Uh, it's weird because like everyone has the, what what they call the gift of the gab. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And that's why they relate to Connor. the Irish were storytellers. That's why they relate to Connor mm-hmm. because they're like, yeah, that like the my barber. His name was Connor. There's a lot of Connors out there. The my yeah. barber out there, who's was brilliant. His name's Connor. Same barber for Beaver. That's how I found the guy. Anyways, he uh, was saying um, he's like, yeah, one of the reasons why Connor's so big here is like we all have that friend who's just like him. Like yeah. we relate to the way he talks. Like that's the way it goes here. Yeah. Like really, he goes, yeah, man, everyone. So like at that barber shop, there were like three barbers there who were beast at talking. Yeah. Like there's a million podcasters walking around there. The Irish, the Irish have a tradition of storytelling. And in fact, there's a book called How the Irish Saved Western Civilization or Saved Civilization by a uh, historian. And the, what he says is that the scribes, most of that part of the world was illiterate, but the scribes, the priests, and uh, the, I'm sorry, the priests, the clergy, they learned how to write. So what they did was they, um, during the Dark Ages, they basically copied all the books and carried them around with them. Jesus. They kept them in libraries because it was knowledge they didn't want to. They didn't want you know people to lose, like with the Greeks or or the Romans. That's how they became good storytellers, right? And so when you would sit around a campfire, they would tell stories, and you would pass legend on through word of mouth. Anything they say was cool. Yes. And then yeah. boy, did I fuck up. Me, or Chin Jay, and I went to a pub there, like an old school pub. It was oh, actually one of the oldest pubs in. I, really Ooh, I love that shit. It's where rebels fought off the English. There's bullet holes in the walls. Damn. Family owned since the beginning, since like 1840 or yeah. whatever the fuck it was. Yeah. He was raised upstairs, and then he they worked downstairs. He's the only one there, lives upstairs. Mm-hmm. So there's bullet holes in it. It was so cool. So I'm there. I see a group of attractive ladies order Guinness. You know, I'm not from sure. there. I don't, I'm not a drinker. Get yourself, I'm not a drinker. Get yourself a Guinness. But these Guinness were purple. They were purple. They're purple. Yeah, you were saying that on your Instagram. Yeah, they were purple Guinness. I thought, well, that looks fucking delicious. I'll take three of those. Now I'm it like, wasn't a hey. lighting. No, no, no. they okay. were they, in my Instagram. It looked, I mean, purple, purple. Huh. Like I've seen Guinness in the states. Sure, but I was like, God, the what those purple Guinness? Those look delicious. Three for me, and my mates, and this dude, my mates, me, and my mates, my lads, <laughs> my mates. So I was coming from Manchester. So I was sure. my mates. So I looked this. Grizzly Irish man in the eye whose family fought off the English in this bar and they've it's been family owned forever. Sure. I said, Three purple Guinness, sir. And he goes, Are you sure? I went, Yeah. He goes, All right. Give them to me. I had no idea that you are not supposed to do that. Yeah. So in other words, does that mean you're a loyalist to the British flag? To I wish it was something cool like that because okay. I'm half English, so that I could get away with that. No, it means you suck cock. <gasps> it, it it means you're a certified Irish wait dick a minute, diver. Wait a well, I don't. You're, uh, oh, dude, you're an ID. Dicks, you're an ID. Uh, they came out. I'm like, so yeah, 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 yeah. That, means, that dicks. means you're an ID. It it means you you deep throat and swallow the gravy. So they have a they have a fucking color for the beer so it, you're sending a signal to other guys yeah basically or it's for, like chi- my... or it's for chicks it's basically like ordering, oh. it's, like, it's like ordering a pina colada gotcha, at the bar gotcha. because they take the guinness they and they put syrup. black currant in it oh let me tell you something though but i, I know you got a sweet tooth so it was d- delicious I have sweet teeth uh-huh that shit was the best thing that's ever hit my lips <laughs> but i got roasted so bad online for it so bad. Articles were written out there. Yeah, am I right? You made headlines. Articles were no. written out there making fun of me. Really? And at the shows, people would boo me and you know, I'd what? like I'd come out on stage with a Guinness. I'm like, no, no, no. There's no it's not purple. It's not please. I apologize. I I started every show apologizing to them. That's I went, great. I gotta start this off. 
I got to Hey, 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 how about a heads up, though, on some of the little things in life? Well, I should have known because it was just chicks ordering it. It tastes like a black wine gum, though. It was so delicious. I bet. Behind closed door. I wish I could have drank that shit. Oh, man. A little black currant. How good was it, though? Delicious. Man, it was nice. Really? So you guys, have it again, you guys gobbled down a couple of those. <laughs> and then gobbled some Irish cock. I was going to say, and then... then, then it's you only know, right, man. Of course it is. It's it only is. right. Went to that filthy bathroom, got on your knees, stained them expensive jeans, all that Irish piss. And just gobble, gobble. Gobble, gobble. Here we son. go with dick talk again. Like a leprechaun. So uh, interesting. But it was what, weird, right? Yeah. And then so, oh, my diet just went, diet. No, 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 D- yeah. no Diet. Yeah, yeah, no. All that diet show? No. Not a lot of vegan the, restaurants and paleo stuff. There was right? good food, but yeah. like in I, in London, I had fish and chips every meal. Yeah. In in Dublin, I turned a certified alcoholic. Yeah. I literally would wake up and drink Guinness. <laughs> I was on stage every night, Guinness. During the show, someone feed me a Guinness. Yeah. The crowd would ch- yell, chug, chug, chug. I'm chugging Guinness. Well, so what would you drink in the I'm middle? I'm an alcoholic. Of it? What would you drink before when, when, when water would make you sick? You had to drink, you know, spirits because that, that's what kept you from getting dysentery and cholera and all kinds of shit. They drink black beer back and in the they, day. And they say, but it, it's weird because the Irish were like, ah, it's healthy for you, man. There's vitamins. I'm like, yeah. I know, I get that. I yeah. get that. It's thick, like a cold soup. Like a though. syrup, yeah. I yeah, feel yeah. sick. Yeah. And I, they're like, oh, if you drink too much, there's so much fiber, you're going to shit your pants. Fiber? There's so much fiber in it, I guess. Huh. I didn't shit my pants. Did you, Chin? No. Bring it on, no, Ireland. That's a, it's a Bring different it kind of beer. It tastes different than American Guinness, right? It, it was so delicious. Yeah. My, I'm, I'm addicted to it. Yeah. My mouth is salivating right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it I was know. so good, bro. Wow. You would have loved it. I've been. You would have I've only been it. the limerick. Dude, and every, every time I mention limerick was, to Irish people, they're like, that's a shit Dude, all. everyone was so... Nice, yeah, like so cool. I bet. And then, like, I was eating fish and chips in London and Manchester every meal, literally every meal I had fish and chips. And then uh, I wouldn't drink too much in London. Then in Dublin, Guinness, I'd have an Irish breakfast, which is just listen, Ireland. It's Bangers just, and mash. It's just too much. No, what they have no, no, no. It's <clears throat> it's fucking. We had what? What would it, it was eggs? It was, it was a- eggs mm-hmm. over hard, basically, or yep. over medium. Sausage. Uh, Sausage. sausage, jeans, bacon, bacon, blood sausage. Oh boy, uh, mushrooms, tomatoes, and, and no ba- no beans. Sometimes there was, there was beans on one of them. I think yeah. I had. The, so no, the beans. only beans were in. Uh, that's you're talking about a traditional uh, uh, English breakfast. English okay, breakfast. Okay, so an Irish breakfast, you got blood sausage. It was disgusting. You it's got good. sausage. It's delicious. Right? Hey, uh, let me tell you, hey, let me tell you something, man. No, no, hey. Chin. Get Korean up chin on weird. No, Oh, hey, Chin, chin went Korean. We yep. we we. We'd be in a restaurant. I'm like, you think they have any uh, pickled uh, hard boiled eggs there? I'm like, I don't know, bro. I sure as fuck don't pickled, know. Hard I would never eggs. know. And then he always wants to eat at like convenience stores. Oh, yeah. Like he, that, Tesco's. He wants great. to eat the sushi from like the Kmart. Oh, and boy. Shit. So he's one of those guys. You, you, they you full eat, Korean. Yeah, yeah, no, you full Korean. They full Korean. Now you get all quiet, get all quiet and sneak off somewhere. Disappear. You don't know what he's doing. Just disappear, come back with a distended belly. Yeah, this mm-hmm. pair smelling like fucking... Going around eating all those little pickled shops. Pickled eggs and pork rinds. Yep. Mm. Sushi that's packaged in something that's... Ugh. Yep. I can't believe you're eating Wrapped that shit. Like crab meat. Dude, so I, and then I would I would buy a shitload of wine gums and candy everywhere and just eat it. Wine be, gums? Oof. What you the fuck is a gum? wine gum? Oh, my God. It's like a candy made out of angel skin. Really? It's so nice, man. Yeah? Oh, they're my favorite. So I bought a shitload of those. I just sit in my undies that night because I couldn't sleep eating those, man. Dealing with that jet lag. You know, yeah, jet lag. I never. I people never, say I, people say you get over it. Bullshit. It I never. Forever. I never made up. Yeah, I'd, I'd literally go to bed at three in the morning, wake up, uh, you know, eleven. Yeah, so, you're on your I, rhythm. I'd man. have to do a show at two. Oh, God. So I'd be like, oh God, it was like a full time gig. Awesome, but it's full time gig. Yeah. Um, How are the hotels? They were nice. Hotels were real nice. Yeah. And then, but you know, like Rogan's fan base brings him weed. Yeah. Mine brings me candy. Candy. I had so much candy. Now, what about then coffee? Fine. Did you find yourself some good coffee spots? Not a lot of Starbucks. That's it. Starbucks. There's a Costa's, which was nice. I found. Uh, we found. Oh, that one place. Uh, the only reason it caught my eye because it said um, uh, something about the oh the the flat white rises, which yep, is uh, yep, yep, yep. what you know making fun of dark neck rises. So that caught my because we, we we always find ourselves coffee. a revolver coffee something like that from Vancouver. Now I found a couple of hipster spots, yeah. but nothing nothing like here. Yeah, their tea really good tea. The food was actually really good. Mm. Shopping was good. Some good shopping. Great shopping. Yeah, really good shopping. Because the dollar goes a long way. There's no, just the stuff. Everywhere. Like they, yeah. I bought this coat. You would love this coat at John Varvedo's out there. Yeah, 
but they only, it's only you can only get it in London. It's this goat suede. Oh, goat it's cool. suede. You would let, it's your coat. You should be. Yeah, wearing. yeah. It was sick. Um, now, was cool. are you um, the girls the though? Yeah. Well, I would keep saying this to let's Chin put and Jay. Right. Let's put I keep saying this to Chin and Jay. It's not Miami. Not Miami. Long winters. The long winters and the rainy, wet winters. Now, is is there a squat rack anywhere out there? Let me explain. Let me explain. Hey, hey, anyone? Let me, let me explain. Anyone have heard this, of cheeks? Let me give you. Let me give you a. Let me. Let me give you the breakdown. Flat okay. ass, fat tits. I was about to say big tits, flat ass, pale skin. But you, they look like extras from yeah. fucking. You go to Scotland. It's not going to get much better. Scotland, Ireland. Yeah, I. I. Is, I, is there no squat I, racks I, I in judged, Ireland? A million years ago, I judged the uh, Miss. Ireland, uh, Miss Ireland competition, right? So, uh, what is it? Yeah, so so beauty competition, and uh, and I'm not gonna lie to you now. I'm not gonna lie to you. Might have gotten. I think it was the third runner up or something like that. I can't remember, but we, we got a little busy. Yeah, busy bathroom, <laughs> in a bathroom. Sure did. Um, that was all all good and good and stuff. Dirty. She was sitting on the toilet. Yeah. Here's the thing. Um, but I was. I know what you mean because I was looking at the cream of the crop and. Those long winters, those wet long winters with all that beer and all that bread and all that stuff, and there's not a lot of, it, it tends, unless you're on the farm pushing a grain mill. You're, there, there's no really like boom, boom, pals out it's there. It's just not, it ain't Brazil, Colombia, or Miami. Or Mexico. Or Mexico. Or Spain. Let's, yeah. Or, yeah. All right. yeah. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. I mean, and they know that. People. And they agree with that. They agree with that. Yeah. It, it, yeah. I'm, I'm telling you though, man. Uh, I, I always used to, and you used to tell me like, dude, you gotta get out and see the world. My dad used to, you gotta get out and see the world. Yes. And finally, comedy's brought me around the world. And I gotta be honest, that, that I loved London, I loved Manchester. That, that it was phenomenal there. Dublin, Dublin. I'm telling you, life changing. I want to go to Dublin. It was life changing for me. I it was bet. so cool. You're talking man. about it. You're crowds. talking about a town with so much history. Oh my god! I mean, god, the bro. Irish have been through the shit. It's first nuts. of all, they've been with the with the famine. I mean, they they've been through the shit when they came to this country. For the most part, one I believe is a one in eight Irishmen came through Ellis Island. The famine in the eighteen hundreds was so bad. Oh, bro, we went to. Uh, I don't mean to interrupt you. We went yeah. to. Uh, uh, well, I did some sightseeing. You'd be proud of me. I saw some history. Good. Went to the London Bridge. Oh, they had the London the, Tower. The London Tower, London sorry. Tower. Yeah, I saw the bridge too, though. Yep. And Big Ben. Not that big. No, nope, not that big. Not I that big. Yeah. Same Had as you that, never been, same... you'd been to England before. I've never been, bro. You'd never been to London. Bro, Your I, mother's. Bro, I've never been outside of America. Besides I didn't know Brazil. that, sir. Yeah, I don't go anywhere. Oh, my God. My first Lord. time going to Australia was like so my first So you're telling trip. me that that is the first time you've been in Europe? To do comedy. Wow. So I went to. The, oh, okay. The, we got to stop. I went to okay. the. What was it? Tower of London? All right. Yeah, Tower of London. Tower of London. They had the crown jewels there. Yep. Let me tell you something about the crown jewels. The line was simply too long, so simply I Googled it. I went, all oh, those cool jewels. <laughs> Moving on, fellas. Exactly what I would do. I don't give a fuck you know about seeing the person. I'll just Google you it. You know where I went? Where? Where the, to the torture chamber happened. <gasps> I felt like I was in Game of Thrones. Yeah. Was now, so was that cool. in the in the Tower of London? Yeah. Because you know who spent some time up there. Very famous people like Oscar Wilde, I believe, is yeah, up there. They, it's all over the wall. It was mm -hmm. cool. For being a homosexual? Yep. Being a subversive? Yep. A lot, was, of, lot, of, lot really of people like cool that. There. Really cool. Wow. So that, that's about all the sightseeing I did. <laughs> well, sightseeing, I'm not a big sightsee guy. Well, for me, it's like, you know, I don't, I like that stuff, but during the day, I don't know. I, I, I was in Montreal, and I was, uh, which is a very French city, so Montreal was really- all, It's basically about, a little yeah, French. I've been but there. But it's, it's a combination of the English culture and French culture, but very- Very, and the, very French. And the East, I believe, the East part of Montreal is very French, right? They, they wanted to secede. They wanted to get well, out of the street signs, everything's in French. Correct. It's and not, it's not American at Even all. Starbucks, English. you have to say Cafe Starbucks. Yes. Right. And, but the thing about being a tourist and sightseeing, my family, my, my beautiful wife and, uh, you know, she likes to do things with the kids. God bless her. And I'm glad she does it. But we got into one of them double decker buses because my son always wanted oh, to ride a double no. decker. Yeah. yeah that's, that's, that's you kind of got to do it. Yeah, that, that's that's yeah, the, where the sun shines down on you. Yeah. Now, you know, I, I don't do well with the sun now. I'm a vampire. Yeah, I zone vampire. out. I zone out. And yeah. And you drive and you see like, oh, in that building, so-and-so lived and in that building. You, I'd rather, and I'm not kidding. I would rather be in a dentist. Yeah, chair. I get bored. I'd rather have you drill my teeth with no Novocaine. See, Jay and Chin like that it. shit. Jay and Chin, yeah, some they, people went, do. they went to the Guinness factory. I'm like, nah, I'm be. That's the third biggest church in North America. I don't care. Me neither. I want I good food. I want to have a laugh, and I want to, I want to shake it up. Yeah. Other than that, I, I can't do it. Yeah, it, yeah. 
Yeah. Well, like, uh, again, that pub, man, was the coolest fucking bar I've ever That's been to. That's what I like to. to do. I like to go to a pub. I like to see the history. I like to feel the warmth. I had uh, some conversations with guys, you know, real, like, mm-hmm. straight up Dublin That's people, how you get to know man. them. That's how you actually get to know a city. It was great. Talking to people that live there. It was great, man. Yeah. It was so cool. And then I hired these guys who, uh, I don't, do you remember all their names, Jen? I don't remember. Most of them, if, if you, you tell me which ones. So the guy doing the mini doc. Philip and Luke. Philip and Luke. And then we had our boy, the photographer. Lee. Lee, who was brilliant. Mm-hmm. So now, do you I, I reach hi- out to people? You call them up yeah. and say. And so I hired this team, and they put the, they're put they doing like a little sizzle reel for Instagram that I put out. But then they, uh, they're putting together like a mini doc, almost like embedded Mac Life series. Mm-hmm. And they're, they're, just, they're showing the whole trip. And it's going to be sick because, you know, whatever, six shows, different outfit every show. So it's going to start off just... Dublin, what's up? Dublin, what's up? Dublin, boom, 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 boom. So I'm with those guys right. who like you were born and raised there. So they'd say, go eat here or do this. Go to this pub. And then he goes, uh, I go, man, what should we do? It's our last night. He goes, you should go to that pub right over there. And that was the real historic one. He goes, this is like a proper in- or, uh, Irish And you had pub. cameras on you the whole time when you're doing this. Uh, uh, no, on, on and off. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, on and off. But it would be worth it. Well, it's, it's, it's a great record for your life. I mean, what an amazing... Fastest sellout of that it's club of all time. It's amazing. Yeah, nuts. Now, um, and so... What would this, this is what was flattering me, and you'll appreciate this, because, I mean, most of it's because of your help. He goes, uh, man, you got to ditch the Big Brown thing, the Big Brown breakdown thing. I went, why? He goes, you did an hour plus of comedy up there. Mm-hmm. He goes, so people would come to us go, man, we love the... We, we want to come to the show, but he's just doing his podcast, bringing on fights. And then they go, holy shit. He did like an hour. They did you improv. Call it Brendan Shop. Yeah, it's just Brendan Shop live. Yeah, I was yeah. going to tell you that actually. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah well, that's why that I do now. Like, it's just Brendan Shop live because you, because you can take your time with that. You did your thing, but I I do I think that if you're doing because that's I thought of that when I saw you in New York where you were doing that much stand up and I went, you know, pretty soon you just say Brendan Shop. That's what we're doing. Yeah, yeah and moving forward. Yeah, because the guys like yeah, because during fan questions, people are like, oh, what do you think of this fight? Or what do you think of that fight? Yeah. Now, you know, I won't give in depth breakdown while I give my opinion, but it's really just stand up. Yeah. 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 And it was cool because I was finding stuff on stage with current events on. The more you do, the more you do. That's That's cool, man. It's just getting your reps in and finding things (sighs) out. But the, so you felt that what was the difference between the European experience, sensibility and being in LA? Uh, They were, I think they were super passionate. Like really, what would you say, Chin? You've been on all the shows with me, Big Round Breakdown. Passion's a good word. The passion, like the the passion in Dublin and in London was just, it's hard to describe, man. Like in Dublin, um, I don't know, like I'd be tired, but as soon as I hit that crowd, the energy from them. You're talking about two in the afternoon on a Monday. That's that's crazy. First of all, you're getting people fuck out. That's crazy. Two in the afternoon and like I enter, it's Nuts, Unbelievable. Man. Nuts. Yeah, I saw that. Some dude had to get kicked out. Two in the nuts. afternoon and be like, what? Or were they already drinking? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Amazing. Dublin. Like the I'm first amazing. night, like the crowd was, you know, they were having fun. They're not obnoxious, but they're having fun. The first night, I go, what time did you open doors at? He goes, seven. I go, I'm on at eight th- at eight thirty. I don't have an opener. So yeah. they're gonna be sitting there drinking for an hour and a half. They don't mind. I can't have that. Yeah. Well, for me, I can't because yeah. the show is basically damn near two yeah, hours. Yeah, they'll, like, they'll expend their energy. Yeah, I can't. I said I can't have like you can tell the difference in the energy. And he's like, yeah. oh, that makes sense. Yeah. So I said, you open the doors hour before, and I'll go on. If not, I'll go on sooner. Yeah. But I don't want them just sitting. That sucks, no, man. No, it's they because they, they, that's when also people drink a little too much. By that yeah, time, yeah. sometimes you're gonna have rabble rousers. It, that's exact. Hundred. That's why I told him, like, Brian would never like we never would no. never do this. Mm-mm. Yeah, you just can't have him sitting. No, I don't there. want them sitting that long. No, you just can't have them sitting there. What a fucking experience. <laughs> it's great. Bro, so cool. Jay Shab loved it. Did some cool stuff. I actually uh, filmed with Mac Life, Connor's now, crew. Now, Jay's a bit of a vampire. Did Jay go out late night when you were hitting the Chin and, Chin and Jay did. Yeah, I we did. We went it. to a club. Yeah, you know, Jay doesn't. Jay, Jay can be, it'll be four in the morning, and Jay's still He's got a smile awake. on his face. He's like, I'm down. I go, Jay, you got to wake up early. He doesn't need sleep. No, that's what he said. He goes, fucking, goes, I go off four hours. He's a shark. Now, sharks don't sleep. That guy doesn't need sleep. Yeah, four hours. Shark, you know, seen sharks him do it. sleep moving. That's seen, Jay. seen him do it. Seen him do it. <laughs> That's over what he said. Over. He goes, well, because I think Jim was sleeping in. And he looks at me. I go, hey, funny. He goes, if you're going to do the tour life, you better be able to hang out late and wake up early. Dead serious. I went, I guess, man. I yeah. guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, by the way, fuel himself up with about six Snickers bars and tell you to fuck off when you tell him to eat better. 
And then, hey, but and also, then, and then outdo you. Also, won't shut the fuck up the entire time you're with him. He's, you know, he's like that kid from Jerry Maguire. Yeah, just dropping facts all the time. He knows what he's talking he about though. Every fact all, he drops, he saw, he saw Mini Cooper. He's, <laughs> he's like, you Google. know what? The, you know what the thing about those is? And he starts going over the uh, the ratio, the axles. Yeah. I literally four days in, I looked and went, "You gotta shut the fuck up." <laughs> I don't care about that old school Mini Cooper. I do not care. <laughs> give me, give my brain a he's rest. He's FYI, walking FYI, walking <laughs> Google. And it's like all of us have facts and stuff, and then say, like, really? And then you look at it, oh, I made a mistake. Jay's not making a mistake. Jay's a computer fucking whiz. He's not we, making a We mistake. got it down to a fucking, it was good to go through everything because we had Jay run VIP and security, and they had Chindu and producing, and it was, we just got it down to Great. fucking science. It's beautiful. So yeah, fun. Yeah, Jay would not shut the fuck up, though. He's a talk. <laughs> he knows everything. Man. It's fun. I love it. it literally, literally a human encyclopedia. <laughs> Unbelievable. Everything. And then, you know, we, you know, because I bought that new Porsche and Jay has a Porsche and then we were talking about when the, the first night we got there, Chin wasn't there yet. He talked about Porsches for, I timed it over two hours. Mm. The histories of Porsche is not I'm like, yeah. Yeah. He likes cleaning his Porsche too. He actually really likes cleaning his he Porsche. He likes Porsches. He likes cars. He likes nice clothes and he loves sports. And correct. He knows his shit. He's and if you get an argument with him on that, you better know your stuff. And he's you very, de- and he's correct. very defensive of me. If someone's critical, he will come at you like a spider yeah, monkey. You're his little brother. Super spider monkey. You're his little brother. Good luck with that. Yeah, you're the little fucking French toy soldier. Yes, and yep. we, we had a code word for it because there's there's some guys there that this guy you'll love this this guy these uh, Brit, uh, Irish guys they get in the back of VIP they don't have uh, tags like come on let's in I go let them in let them in because they're sitting there they're cool dudes yeah and. Uh, they're drunk, like pretty drunk. And they go, bro, bigger dudes too. They go, bro, the Irish, we're not small. No, and not they go, small people. No, not at all. And he goes, bro, if this isn't the best story you've ever heard, oh boy. I'll let you punch me in the face. Dead, and his friend goes, dead serious. And they're weird accents, you know? Yeah, I, do you like dags? Anyways, so I go, all right, let's hear the story. And they tell a story on how last time uh, there was a UFC there, Connor beat uh, Brando or whatever, and Cody Donovan fought on that card, and they were in an elevator with Cody, and it's, all, it's a 30-minute story. And halfway through the story, I go, you've, you've already performed? Oh, oh, my second show, it's 1 a.m. That's, that's, I went that's a long 60, fucking 60 time. 60 meet and greets. Tough. It's 1 a.m. Tough, tough. So I'm there, I'm like, all right. And he, he goes, this is going to be the best story you've ever heard. And I went, brother, I live a pretty fascinating life. The story better be Fucking good if it's the best I've ever heard. I said, before you even start, are there girls involved? He goes, no. I went, then you're already out. You're already out. He goes, no, no, just hear me out. So he tells the story, long story short, they're in an elevator. A scuffle happened. Cody vouched for him so they didn't get arrested. There's No one ever got hit. There's no f- strikes, nothing. That's Cody, the story. And then they went upstairs and went to a party. I went, were there chicks in that party? He goes, no. I went, that's your story? I go, yeah. I went, get the fuck out. <laughs> And he started laughing. I went, get the fuck out. I'm serious, man. And then, they, you know, I start laughing. And then they got a little too comfortable. And they they would always have Guinness for me, like drinks. Yeah. So they started drinking my shit. And the security guard and Jay are like, dude, you can't have that, man. And he's like, no, 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 shops. And I can't. Brendan said I can have it. And then it got a little weird. Yeah. So our code word, co- code word was, is there any more wine gums? And then the old shark eyes doll smile put it into beast mode. Yeah. The old shark eyes went went Dexter. Got his shovers on. The old, the old, got his, the old, got the old, the old, the old shovers out. The old shark eyes went Dexter on him. Because yeah. I went, <clears throat> fellas, we got any more wine gums? And Jay would go, <laughs> and then just start doing work. Got these two double lads out. I get the old, let me shepherd you boys on out of here. Let me sh- just kind of get my big old body in the way. But you don't really get manhandled. I get manhandled. You don't get guys grabbing you and putting their arms around you much. No, I'll tell you what was weird with, with the, with the London and the Irish crowds is like in America, they're like, yeah, you know, I'll take a picture with the guy in the be there with their wife or girl who's a dime piece. And I always yeah. say, damn, you, I'm assuming you force her to go. And they're like, yes, you know, yeah. I'm bored. And, uh, the, in America, they go, yeah, I get a picture with him. Mm, London, Ireland, like, mm, there ain't no picture. One, one girl was like, they're not letting their girl get a picture. Oh, like. it's very interesting. <laughs> they don't want I, that I, I, I don't media. care at all, but there's yeah. like, mm-mm. Yeah, it's like like one girl was a smoke show, really? and I go, yeah, and she takes a picture of her man. She goes, I didn't know who you were. I had really fun. I'm like that man. That makes me feel the best when people you know don't know me and you still laugh. Like that's why I do it. Blah blah blah. And then uh, I go, want a picture? And he just, I mean, rough dude goes, no, she doesn't. I went, 
Oh, all right, shit, that's God not here. I didn't, damn. Yeah, don't, I'm not going to fuck Gee, your girl in the wish, picture, man. man. Jesus Christ. No, you didn't want your armor on. No, uh, they, they, there were some that, yeah, like married couples and everything. I'm like, nah, she's good. I'm that's like, so what, interesting. Can she talk or is this like 1950s? She's a housewife. She can't talk. Yeah, there's a, we there's, well, remember, what? when was, uh, first of all, abortion just became legal. Divorce. No, abortion's still not it's legal. It's still there. illegal? No, because I have an abortion joke that killed there because of it. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> because not only that, but abortion also joke divorce that, wasn't uh, legal for the longest time. Can you see when divorce was allowed in Ireland, in, in Dublin? Because it was. I'll I mean, tell you what, man. The more I travel Catholic, the world, the more I realize place. women around here have it really easy. Hey, well, oh, hey, man. how about in Russia? Yeah. Fuck yeah, they do. Comparatively oh, to North, a lot of North countries. North Korea, Korea. I mean, uh, I mean come uh, on. Right? Japan, Middle East. Japan. These are very so chauvinistic societies. Africa? Yeah. Oh, name, no, name another country. Women here have it. Real. Canada, my they got face, a great. Brian. Yep. Real. Real Canada. Uh, God. I'd imagine Australia. Damn it. I'd imagine And the, the more States. I watch Game of Thrones, you know what? I'm going to start puffing my chest out a little more. Yeah. Laying the law down. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's right. For a goddamn reason. You're fucking right. Yeah, just cocks right Why? Because it said so. That's why. Uh, why? Because it's the way God intended that's us That's right. To now, be. silence! That's what I try. Fuck Try that in your sakes. household. You're, see what happens when you do that with your girl. See what happens. I'm telling you, man, I watch too much Game of Thrones. She ain't going to do shit. You've been wearing a, a frying pan in your fucking in your. She'll be wearing grill. a ball gag in the basement, shutting her goddamn what? mouth. I didn't know you had a basement, first of all. Second of all, I'm turned yeah, on California. right now. A ball gag? I'll put it in the garage. A ball gag. She be wearing a ball gag in the basement. Yeah, or a goddamn sock around her mouth. Hey, bro, that's kind of illegal. No, I, I see it happen on Game of Thrones. Not in my fucking. This is Game of Thrones. You step into my fucking doorway. We're in. We're in. We're in fucking Dark Ages, England, right now. Ah, wow, that's how I like it, bro. Ball gag. Ball gag. You wear ball gag. Dude, the, uh, the crowd uh, would uh, ask a question about you. I'm like, are you talking about the certified dick diver and kill him? We got to do a certified dick diver shirt. Yeah, it sounds like a good idea. But certified don't dick put diver. dick diver. Just put uh, SDD and then have like the scuba, like the original sign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And have it in with, small. But 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 you could have like the eggplant emoji. I don't think guys are going to wear <laughs> Certified dick diver. I don't dick know if diver. guys are going to wear that. They It's hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or you could have you, you, w, y, you dick diver. Yeah, you you certified. You CDD. CDD. Why apostrophe? I, see, I like CDD certified. Then you have like the 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 diver, but in his goggles is the uh, eggplant emoji. Like you or or you have like he's diving. Or for, you have coral. Well, he's and diving of coral, for dicks. It's it's, it's dicks. all dicks. Yeah, like he's just a coral. But you got to disguise. It looks like coral. But, but then hey, there's a clownfish in the middle dick. sucking on him. All right, maybe mm. got to go there, huh? Well, let's just keep it at the coral. The coral full got of the dicks. dicks. Well, no one's wearing a shirt with coral dicks. Yeah, but you got to you got to describe shirt. it. You got to describe it. I mean, you got to disguise it a little. No, like, no. See, a I, pond what about this? Inspection. What about this? Just like big scuba, like snorkeling goggles. Yep. Snorkel, and then the mirror off the 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 reflection off the thing is a is a eggplant emoji. Like oh, that's not dick. bad. Then a guy is behind him sodomizing him underwater. No one's buying Too that much? shirt, Brian. No one's buying okay. that shirt. You can't have that. All right, I don't know. I'm trying. To, I'm trying. To, I'm trying to. You work cannot on have it. that. I'll tell you what was a hit in Dublin. What's that? And I kind of thought it was going to be. I wore that shirt that said 49 and 1, that Barstool Sports sent me. You know, because Floyd Mayweather's 49 and 0. Oh, 49 boy. Oh, boy, that thing boy. went over nice. I bet it did. Certified dick diving. Gee whiz. Man, that thing was a hit, hit, yeah, hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone keeps asking. It's uh, Barstool. I didn't make that shirt. Barstool sent it to me. I figured I'd just save it for that. Um, I think you addressed this a little bit, and I heard it from a very reliable source and saw it with my own eyes as, as in a text from a very reliable source. Uh, I'm nervous what you're going to ask me right now. I was going to ask you, I heard... Eight inches. Wait, can I whisper it to you to see if I can say it out loud? Uh, or Chin could just edit this. Yeah, oh, but, you know what? Whisper it to me. Um, we never edit. Oh. Um, I mean, I'll just bring it up. Yeah, you can bring it up. Cause, <laughs> Wait, who, 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 but who's your source? Um. <laughs> no, that's not your source. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Mm, well, yeah. that's not a good source. I know, but he said he was he from he was who? There. He was there the whole time. Yeah, he was there, but yeah. he he didn't text you that. He texted. No, I was right there. I mean, I went, like, well, now now you got to get it out. Yeah. So <laughs> well, now the people are like, "Fuck you." Yeah. So so um, I heard from a very reliable source that uh. You know, I talked, to, I talked to Polly. I want to hear it. Keep going. I want to hear it. Yeah, I going. heard that Conor McGregor gave Polly Mal Malinaji 
legit world champion uh, uh, Fitz for 12 rounds. Mm-hmm. And I don't want to say an ass whooping because I don't want to be disrespectful, but Fitz gave him some problems, big problems. What is your take on that? And uh, that was from somebody who was there, and you know who it is. So what yeah. do you think? Um, I, I, so I've spoken to Polly. I've spoken to people that were there. Um, I, I obviously listen, man. I, I love Connor. I love Polly. I like both yeah. of them. I stay yeah. in the middle here. I ride that middle dick lane. Um, you know, the reports of did Polly get his ass whooped? Is, that's not true. It's not true. Um, I know there was there was some tough rounds. Mm-hmm. I know that there was some tough rounds. And as the rounds went on, uh, from what I heard, you know, Polly w- was doing some stuff. They both landed really good shots. Um, can I ask, can I interject one thing? Let's let's have a caveat. I don't think Paul Paul has boxed for many years and probably wasn't in boxing shape. Is yeah, he was true? in boxing shape to go twelve rounds, right? And also, but, he hasn't boxed in how long? I yeah, mean, yeah. I mean, a, a months, you know, a while. Uh, okay, yeah, he retired a while ago. Yeah, but yeah, but back in the gym, yeah. So that's fair to say. But still, okay. world champion. Yeah. Um, you know the the facts that the reports that Connor beat his ass. I don't know if that's true. Um, Connor bigger than him. A lot bigger. Yeah, taller, you know, quicker than shape, but the same thing, you know, that that stuff with the whole Polly stuff, and I said this to Polly. The thing with Polly and Connor is Polly, he's like us. He's like us, he's a sensitive guy. And Polly goes, Yeah, I talked all that shit, you know, six months ago and you know, I thought we'd spar and be all good, just like, you know, the way we fighters do, like you spar sure. and you get you mix it out and I'm here to help him. Yeah. And his thing is, um, and I told Polly, I said, but dude, when when he brought you in, you know, if you go back and listen to the reports Especially on Showtime, they go, "Oh, why are you bring Polly?" And he goes, "To fuck him up, dead space." And he wasn't like, "Ha, ah, just joking." Connor goes, "To fuck him up, jeez." Because six months ago or seven months ago, when Polly goes, "I could be in one hand behind my back," man, one of the reason what makes Connor such an elite winner and yeah. uh, elite he athlete takes that shit personally. Yep, if you're yeah. gonna challenge him, so they go, "Why are you bring Polly in?" It wasn't to figure Floyd out; it was to fuck him up. Wow. So you know, I think they thought two different; they had two different agendas. Mm. And from uh, yeah, so Paul, and, and from you're Con- me in, and from Con- yeah, you bring me in, but I'm so here to, to help. With you. It's all good, yeah. You know, and so you know, here Connor's train partner goes. You know, Paulie, uh, you know, left because he had to work for Showtime. Came back, and you know, he he talked shit saying Connor didn't have power and stuff like that. So he's just adding fuel to the fire. I don't know what he expected. Yeah. And then even after that picture got posted, and from my sources, mm-hmm. which are super close to Connor, my sources, sure. Connor's team didn't leak that. A, a second source leaked oh, that. Oh, I, he I didn't believe that. Connor didn't leak his I team. They'll, they'll post pictures of Spar and stuff like yeah. that. They didn't leak that one. Someone else did, and then it got picked up, and then Connor's, his team was just like, ah, fuck it. It's out there. What are you going to sure. do? But Paulie saw Connor after in the locker room and didn't say anything. And then I guess when they're headed back, got dropped off the hotel and then just bounced. So then people go, oh, Paulie didn't get paid. And listen, I'll, I'll probably talk to Polly maybe have him on my show, The Big Round Break, or something like that. Um, it'd be even fun to have him on here and just have him talk about it. Um, you know, he left, and as far as him not getting paid, I don't think Polly cares. Polly's financially fine, but remember too, if you had a job and you're supposed to work six weeks and you work two days, day, yeah. you're not going to get paid. Sure. So Connor never fired him; he left. Again, I'm I'm in the middle on this. Yeah, I love Polly. I love Connor. Yeah. They they're both just so different. They both had different agendas. Mm-hmm. It's a bit of a shit show. It's not fake. It's not scripted. Well, I don't think what Dana and uh, the UFC is saying how Paul just got picked apart's true. I know Connor did well. I know yeah. that for a fact. Connor did well, and it's in, in, well because he's a really good boxer. I think you could also say that. At least here's what I'll say: we all we all talk about how good Nate Diaz is a boxer for the UFC. Nate trains as a boxer. He trained at uh, Andre Ward's camp for a long time. Trains a lot of camps, and he gets in there with real boxers and bangs it out, and has been doing it for years. I think from my from where I was sitting, it looks like Conor McGregor is actually a better boxer than Nate Diaz. Different. That's, that's the problem. Is like different if, or better? It, different. What they're do you different. mean? Different. He can't because what Conor does. The the only reason why Conor has a chance in this fight is because he's so untraditional. Floyd's never seen it, so mm-hmm. it's going to take Floyd a while to download his movement yep. and and the way he hits, so from Ward South said, Paul yeah. and stuff like that. And Nate Diaz, they've seen that style since they were little. They deal as a traditional boxer, very uh, good at it, yes. brilliant at it. But any boxer seeing that they're gonna eat them alive, okay, at a high level. Same way when yep. people go, yep. oh, Anthony Joshua Stipe. Stipe is a traditional boxer. Anthony uh, Joshua is a golden, you know, gold he's medal winner. He's been through that, but he's seen that style. He knows that language. Times. Knows what's you know coming. What language you don't see? 
that notorious movement, that that Conor McGregor awkward movement, switching mm-hmm. southpaw, traditional. Mm-hmm. He's even more awkward. And Paulie, no, he switched. Paulie, you think? He will. I know for a fact. So Paulie's oh, coming all this stuff, and I'm like, damn, that's terrible, bro. We land some good shots. He's like, hey, you're missing the point. I'm like, no, that does. But like, was it like, you know, I'm like, I'm trying to, you know, because. You want to know if he landed some good shots? I, I need to know. You know, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm riding or dying on this Conor. So, so, so did you get from Paulie? Did, Paulie says he's tough. He does. He does say, a lot of stuff tough. You know, but that's that's why again, that's why that's you love Paulie. Paul, you know, Paulie's not. He'll tell. You know, Paulie doesn't need more fame. Paulie doesn't need that stuff. Paulie's just like, man, this is what it is. You know, I think Paulie's feelings are hurt. I think Connor's here. You know, the, the the show moves on. Sure. And you know, it's it's good insight for uh, Paulie to have on, on the Showtime broadcast stuff like that. I'm sure it's a fun journey. Um, but you know, I, I think he got a pissed off Connor because he said things about him earlier. And How is- I, and I got to get it from the horse's mouth. I need to talk to Paulie. I don't want you know speak out of turn or anything like that. But from my sources, from talking to Paulie, from talking to this guy, uh, people in Connor's camp, talking to people in Dublin, it's you know it, you pay, you paint this picture and mm. try the best you can. I wonder but, if I wonder you know, if all of Ireland is going to that fight. How are the ticket sales? They're not good. In the beginning, they're not good. Yeah, the upper deck aren't good. Because they're they're so expensive. The, the, the bottom tier sold the fuck out. That doesn't surprise me because this is the kind they of thing 10, that people 000. want to come pay per view and and gather around a TV and watch. Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. That and, and I, I'd all, rather do that all, than go me there. Me too. It's only twenty four ninety nine in the UK and Ireland. Oh, okay. And, yeah. And, and, so then yeah. then it makes more sense. You know, I'm going to take a it, plane. It'll sell or out gonna, for yeah. sure. It's going it's be the biggest pay per view of all time. Yeah, I would imagine. I, it's I mean, you can't even watch mainstream media right now and the, what they're doing. I go on Rich Eisen tomorrow to try and educate him a little bit, but uh, yeah, it, on on the actual on the just actual just game. why it's a, it's an interesting fight, why it, it is what it is, why it's not this just complete you know joke of a fight. Right, right. Yeah, go to the body, Connor. Don't try to put hands on his face. Go to the body. Yeah, but you, you, you again. You got your source. Would you know? That's of course they're going to say that. You know, of course they're going to say that. You can't. You can't. That's why I don't. Li- if something that close to the yeah. fighter, I never listen to it. Really? I've heard all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I need an outside source. Yeah, who knows what's well, going on? You went right to the guy who fought him. Yeah, but again, Paul. You know, Paulie obviously. He, you know, he has an ego, and he has you know what what happened. He's and, a fighter. You know, yeah. he's a fighter and world champion. And sure, you know. So. Anyway. But when the the footage, you know, who knows if that footage ever gets out? I'd highly, it might get out. I highly doubt it. If it's in favor of Connor. I'm, I would almost guarantee. Uh, when you out. and I were at that gym that Martinez comes out of, um, Martinez. No, um, who's the Argentinian fighter uh, who was a Garcia. soccer player? Garcia. Sergio Garcia. Sergio Garcia. Uh, Shane one, Mosley's gym. Yeah, Shane's. And one of the things I thought was interesting was that I think it might have been Madonna's cousin was fighting. Yeah, was, Madonna's cousin. And was he sparring Sean Porter or who Sean was he Porter, sparring? Yeah. yeah. And somebody was videotaping, and yeah. he goes, "Hey, hey, hey! I don't want, I don't want the that's other side." That's guy code. Yeah. Also, guy I don't code. want you videotaping me so you can download what the fuck I'm doing. Yeah, it's just guy you code, know? though. Like it's, it's also, it's like, you know, there's this kind of hidden rules in baseball where you know you, there's certain things you just you can do it, but you just don't. You don't do, do, it. do it. There's like locker room code. It's kind of that. Like so what? like, 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 like with Chris Van Erden, all the stuff he's talking about. Yeah. I mean, it's it, it, as far as like a fighter goes, like it's just like yeah. fuck, bro. That to be honest is some bitch shit. Like you lose a little respect. Like I know you need like views and trying to get more popular. It's just Can't get that, like in the fighting world. And if your management, like if Frank and those guys tell him to do that, I'm telling you, man, you're barking up the wrong tree. Yeah. Because even even fight promote the fight world goes, oh, like yeah. it's nasty. Well, I would even say that's. It's like, not, you know, you know what he's not doing? Even, that's not that's not really Chris. That's you know, you know what you know what it's like doing. Do something you know what, somebody's telling him. Yeah, you know what it's like doing. It's like a uh, a girl who has morals and ethics, and blasting a thong ass pic on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, you're like yeah. what? Yeah. Why are you doing that? You yeah. don't need to do that. Somebody got in your. You're ear. legit cool. Like what? You're you're a good person. What are you yeah, doing? That's right. So when I see that. I'm like, ah oh, man. Yeah, I, I have the same exact. Yeah, I saw it, and then he keeps doing it. He's like, I'll you know, you can bring me in. I'll spar with you, but you have to pay me a handsome, you know. Amount. I'm just like, oh God, Chris. Oh boy. I don't know. Yeah, this stuff. I know exactly what you're talking about. Uh let's do some current events. Let's do some current events. Current, current, current it just in. This just in counts a certified dick diver. Certified dick diver. Since the day he was born, he was diving on cocks. Well, you heard this already, right? right? What Trump said just, just recently, recently yeah, as Tuesday. Tuesday. I'll, I'll play, play it for you right, right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, I saw it. I All haven't right, heard so it. So here we go. Why is his hands? Hey, what's Korea? 
best not make any more threats to the United States. They will be met with fire and fury like the world has never seen. He has been very threatening uh, beyond a normal statement. Only 10,000 views? I said, they will be met with fire, fury, and frankly, power, the likes of which he's not very articulate. has never seen before. Thank you. Thank you. I, I saw an interesting fact that it said North Korea has like, whatever, eight nuclear missiles. And it was like, in America has 127. Well, no, they, have, they, they, they think they might have 80, and we have actually way more than that. But the biggest thing is this. Like he's so it's funny. Scary, he's though. so funny. He's like um he's so funny the way he says it. It'll be fire and fury and frankly power. <laughs> and, like, but then he re- I'm adding power as well. Hey, but then he repeat he goes back beyond a normal statement. If you want to keep this up, yeah. fire fury. And they they've been very threatening. They made threats in a threatening manner. Like, hey dude, he's just the he gets so ridiculous. He's scary though. Yeah, I but mean, North, uh, North Korea, they, they, they have capabilities of reaching L.A., yes. correct? So well, if, the if idea they were on a suicide is, mission, they could, they could hit one of us. Well, they don't know yet, but they do have intercontinental ballistic missiles. Mm-hmm. So that would be a missile that you can fit with a miniature warhead, okay? If you can do that, and it has the kind of guiding system, and it can avoid our shoot-down technology and all that. Good luck with that. Yeah. Uh, they can right now. They say they can reach Guam. Guam is an American military presence in the Pacific. That's what they're threatening with, right now. Yeah. After that, Guam. Statement. Yeah, got a lot of American service members and their families oh, there. Fuck. Yeah. So man. Rex Tillerson went to Guam, and he was like, basically, "Hey, listen, the North Koreans are basically talking again." And you know, it's look. Michael Malice, who wrote a book on North Korea, said that whenever they shoot those missiles and they crash into the sea yeah. and they don't go off, they're trying to see. What they're doing is they're testing it, but they know it's really they, they they a lot of experts believe that they're those tests are being done on purpose, like they're failing on purpose. So the Koreans don't want to lose face. So they're, we're shooting it, we're not listening to you. Oh, but it's not a threat, it's going into the sea. So they're kind of sabotaging it themselves. So, so that's you, one so theory. So people think that they can reach Yeah, the it? North Koreans know that if they ever so did something. So should I buy a house now in Texas? I was going to say, buy a house in Texas. The North Koreans know that if they ever attack. It would be suicide, but yeah. they're, they're led by a straight up lunatic. Yeah, but. That's he, what's scary. It'd be the end of their entire regime. I know, but he's a lunatic. So you're not dealing with a regular man who thinks like that, right? The he's North Koreans have, from from the early, from the 80s, Shane, from even before that, were terrified that I the United States was going to launch it. a unilateral attack. So they, they, and then there were threats made, and I can't remember the president, the American president, essentially, that that the nuclear option was always on the table with North Korea. And and the, their founder, the founder of North Korea after the Korean War, never forgot that. But And doesn't Russia, remember, and who, China, doesn't Russia and China back up North Korea? I'm sorry? Doesn't Russia and China back up North Korea? Well, Russia, so China was always North Korea's biggest influence, but they're allies, now, now, but China and Russia just... Essentially, they were trading partners. Yeah. But China and Russia just voted, along with the United States, in the United Nations for the sanctions, the newly imposed sanctions. So that's kind of new. So they're back so China's on- fed up with North Korea. Russia's fed up with North Korea. Everybody's fed up with North Korea. All right. China was using North Korea be as trouble, a bargaining Because I know North Korea would commit suicide, but if you have the back of Russia and China, then you got some... Yeah, so some, China and Russia you've basically... you got some meat behind Yeah, so Rex Tillerson even said, we're actually in a better place than we were... You know the 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 China even the Chinese and the Russians are like, look, guys, what the fuck are you doing? You know. Now the danger is if they have eighty nuclear warheads. I heard they don't have that many. Well, that's that's one speculation by nuclear experts. Very tough to tell because everything to do is underground. Yeah. Now but the the likes of fire and fury is kind of a paraphrase of Harry Truman, who talked about you know remember who who dropped the the bomb on Nagasaki and Hiroshima, Harry Truman, the end of World War Two. Man. And I believe it's just some scary stuff. It's scary, yeah. It's but scary. then, uh, homeboy, it, the, uh, your boy uh, Tillerson, Secretary of State, said, uh, "I think Americans should sleep well at night and have no concerns about this particular rhetoric of these last few days." Um, can you look up? Was Harry Truman? Let me. I'm sorry. I think I believe Truman was the one who said who okayed the bomb. If I don't know that, that's terrible. But I'm pretty sure he did. Anyway, what else you got, Chin? All right. Don't talk to Jay Shaw about it. Freak you out. Mm. What is this? Some girl named Chloe Ailing. She's a British model. Um, Turns out that she possibly, well, she's saying that she was uh, abducted through the black, the the dark dark web. web. Yeah. 
Um, and this is what it is. It's a Black Death Dark Web advertisement that's posted on her belly right there. Okay. And is it fake? So some journalist thinks that it could be fake, but She's apparently it's piece. real. And she is so hot. She's dude. so smoke hot. Smoke show She's spectacular. Yeah. She was, she was all up in the headlines on London. Yeah. And so I was she like, was kidnapped by some really rich guy or something? So she was lured by no. this fo- like a modeling photographer ad. Standard. They were going to take pictures of her. Standard. Flew her down there, and then someone abducted her. Really? And p- drugged her, and she was missing for, I think, a few days. So p- some people think it's fake? Some people think it might. she's, she's lying about the story. Fabricating the story? But it's looking to be real now. Damn. And this is the guy oh who was a chief God. suspect. And he said he was like, he was pr- the Romanian mafia. Oh, well. Threatened him. Well, you don't want that. Yeah, he doesn't look like a very nice you guy. He doesn't look like he has all this marbles. Super ago. pale white guy with skewed eyes. So, di- so, mm. so did anyone touch her, though, Jen? Or? No. According to her, the she got away? Happened. Yeah. So, there's, there's, look at her. her. Yeah, she's absolutely. Remember all that shit we're talking about? Uh, can you go back for a second? Wait, 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 let me see what the headline says. Sure. Uh, one more time. Just that she got a, a, a duck. This is the very so, headline. So, I don't, I'm still. So, she gets abducted. Uh, they put out an ad with her lying down with this ad on her. By the way, that's a one piece uh, in a very blurry mm-hmm. image, which is weird. Um, okay. To be sold. Well, in well the, they didn't hire a professional to, to, to be sold. To, on the black market. Dark web. I did not try and, and find nobody that bought number. her. But nobody I did not try and find that I was going to say, market. nobody. I did, not, I did not offer up 100 pounds. Isn't that crazy? And no one bought her. Well, I think, or did she escape? Hmm. Um, there's, there, we're missing some pieces. Romanian there's so there's many. Like this is brand new. So let's see. Potential buyers three hundred. Gra- that's mm. three hundred grand. Let's check out this right here. I mean, three hundred grand for a, that dime piece. That is so messed up. Three hundred thousand dollars. Hey guys, well, that's thirty bucks. You know. There's more here. You're a Russian oligarch. Oh, this is a different one. So uh, apparently, these guys in the dark web tipped off a couple of uh, British newspapers, but they didn't. They didn't say anything because the police said not to do it. So I guess the police apprehended her. They found out where she was at. Oh, that's how. Okay, so she didn't escape because it's tough for those girls to escape the Russian mafia. Where they? I was gonna say, yeah, it's not like you no, know, they're not man. like. It's not the movies. Whoops! Oh. Ah, you didn't tie that knot. Whoopsie! Ah, she's running away. Oh, that banana peel was in the way, and I slipped. Jesus, man. That's some scary shit, though, for girls. She's fucking delicious, though. She is fat. Get a couple more uh, images of that just she for research purposes. Fabulous. Chance? Yeah. I want to see how more. she did get away, though. Um, hmm. nah, I don't know. Okay, let's look at more pictures. Sorry, everybody. Truman was the vice president. She, Tommy Bryan. And she, obviously, yeah. She, uh, she escaped, huh? I mean, you can't be mad at her. Franklin Roosevelt. Sorry, um, I'm just looking at her. I she has an Instagram, I'm sure. Yeah, uh, hey, go, hey, go, go back. Uh, I bet it's just oh, really impressive. Shit, go let's back go, to that. Chin. Go back to that, Chin. What are you Chin, doing, Chin? Let's let's go back to that. That's her Instagram. Two hundred twenty-five thousand followers. Those are real, by the Speaking way. Speaking of no curves in London, boy, were we full of shit. Gee whiz, she's something else. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, she's not been. You she know, put listen. some milk in my tea. Brennan, uh, that's I would eat. I would ask you to sausage off that. Uh, ass. Brennan, I'm going to ask you to to take it easy right now because I would sniff fruit Brent, pastels off. Brennan, I'm going to ask you to be we're, we're being recorded, and I'm going to ask you to really calm down here. She's a, probably a someone's daughter, and she's just a a good woman, probably an empowered woman. And I just want you guys to know that I believe in empowering women. I just want to cry. I just want you to know. I'm crying to cleave it. Uh, also, if you're a little shook up about this, what's her name, Chin? Mm-hmm. Chloe Ailing. There's a there's a Chloe thing Ailing. Yeah. Chloe Ailing. There's Listen, a thing where she talks. If you're all, Ailing, you if you're all shook up about this, yeah. we're hiring a new intern. Good I don't job, know. Boy. I've been through a terrifying experience. I feared for my life. Second. Look at this. This is her statement. By minute, hour by hour. I am incredibly grateful to the Italian and UK authorities for all they have done to secure my safe release. I have just arrived home after four weeks of being in Italy. And I haven't the had the time up. to gather my thoughts. I'm not at liberty to say anything further until I have been debriefed by the UK police. That's what she's wearing during her statement. It's pretty trippy, she's, right? Uh, she's a beauty. Let's go ahead and get a better dog, though. That beagle ain't going to stop any more of those uh, abductors. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get those roots done as well while you're at it. Change yeah. that dog, dye your roots, uh, step She could have anything up. she wants. She could shave her head. I'm, nah, I'm there for her. her. I, want, you, you I want her to know that I'm there for I hope her. She make, I hope she figures everything out. 
Yeah. Okay. OJ Simpson's Bronco is going to be up for auction on that show, Pawn Stars. Love oh that show. Um, it's from his ex agent. Have you seen the new Broncos? I'm, yes. I'm getting one. Oh, I showed them. Yeah, it looks one, amazing. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't seen him. I love that. Oh. I love the Bronco. Ooh, I'll the show new you. one's coming out. Really? It comes out, uh, I think, end of the show. I'm I love get a Bronco. One. So he's selling it or his agent is selling his it? His ex agent. So, in other words, he doesn't own it anymore? Yeah. I don't oh, know that's what badass. happened as far as his ownership, but it's it's not. Like click on these that look awesome, two thousand right? oh, eighteen Bronco car. for me. That's a great look. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get that juice white too. The OJ it. white. I love Put it. Some black rims on it. Cruise around Brentwood. Just cruise. Man, right up the street. Why not? Why Thin not? Right? Code. Relax, man. It's a hell of a car, right? I love the Bronco it's a truck. Uh, whatever. Old, oh, I mean, uh, old truck. Uh, the old style. It's really cool looking. Yeah. yeah, really cool looking. Hopefully, it looks just like that in 2018. Um, see, that's the concept, but still, it's gonna be dope. Mm-hmm. Pretty crunk for it. Mm-hmm. Uh, let well, me see OJ's card to say how much it's gonna go for. It says no less than five hundred thousand dollars. Five. Well, it's wow. pretty famous, isn't it? So OJ does not get that money once again, right? No, any money he gets goes to uh, the gold. The it gold does, mints. huh? Yeah, like his, they found he keeps his, his pension. He keeps his pension. They can't touch the pension, but like they found his kids had a bunch of properties in Florida, like shitty investment properties, yeah. and they're like, and they sold them. And they were under different names. They found it was the kid's name. Like, well, where'd, where'd they get cash to buy these? Now they're coming after that. Anything wow. that doesn't have to do with his pension, they take. Wow. Yeah, the Goldman's. Yeah, they want a $30 million settlement or yeah, something. Yeah, he owes them 30 or $40 million, right? <sighs> Good luck paying that off. Fuck. I was talking to Rogan this morning. He goes, uh, we're talking about his uh, 100th or uh, 1,000th episode. Yeah. And I go, you should get OJ Simpson on. He's like, I can be out in time, but have him call in from prison. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> He's getting. He's doing. He's doing Tom Segura and Joey Diaz, and they're doing a show right after, uh, freaking uh, at the comedy store. Yeah, I haven't heard from Joe in a while. Diaz or Rogan? Rogan. Scott, he's killing it, man. We're talking about. I mean, we're talking about tours and ticket sales. Uh, It's uh, obviously he's one of the biggest comics in the world. It's a whole different thing. Oh my! You think you're doing well in life, and then you talk to someone who's doing well in life. Yeah, and I mean, it's you guys are all t- doing well. What are you talking about? There's levels to this game, man. As Meek Mill said, there's levels to this game. <laughs> well, there's yeah, there's, there's levels, levels, levels. There's like, artistic you know, I, levels. But, there's it, it, commercial levels. There's it's rare level. you can talk. You know, not rare, but there's only a few people who can understand. Like with you know touring or podcasting or ticket sales, and obviously Rogan's the godfather. Of it. So when you, I go. You know, because it's not bragging because you're in the same lane, right? So I'll say, hey, this, I got this. Does this seem right? Or this, this, and this. I'm like, yeah, that's cool. I did three shows and I made this. I went, I lost all energy in my body. I almost yeah. crashed my Porsche. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. Well, he played to 6,000 people in Dallas. I mean, it's only growing with Rogan. 6,000 sold out three shows at 6,000. That's uh, I know what those numbers are. Me too. Yeah. Good for him. I mean, again, great. there's levels to this game. Yeah, there are levels. Where it's cool though, it's dope. It's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> How do we get started on that? Uh, he's doing oh, we're talking about just, yeah. Oh, I'm episode. going. I'm, I'm doing a show next week. We haven't been, we haven't done one in a while. I'm doing a show next week. But yes, uh, one thousands. What show are we on on this? This is going to be two eighty one. Two eighty one. Should we do yeah. anything special? For, well, and think about it, there's even more because those don't document. Yeah, the ones we did, the ones that but on Fox yeah, I feel Sports, like we've done, we've done a lot. Yeah, we're probably like more we're, at like 600, 500. I think so. I bet many, five, at least five hundred. Easy, easy five hundred. Because yeah. we start in Brian's garage. Well, we do it Brian's twice basement. a week without fail. We've been doing that for four for years. How many? Yeah. So, but who has the early ones? Then the very, very early ones. We don't know where they live. Yeah, Fox used to have them. Wrong. Fox them, and then most a lot of ours didn't transfer from Fox. They didn't let us. Yeah, like it's them. only from one hundred forty four up. On the on fire and the kid, I know. So thank you. We're pro- I'd say we're around at least 400, 500. 400, yeah, four hundred, five hundred. But yeah, you know, we should probably do something special for three hundred. Yeah, three hundred sounds like a fun one too. We should get Gerard Butler on. I have a contact. <laughs> I like him. him. Me too. He's brilliant. It's a good we call. should reach out to Kevin him. Hart. Kevin, I mean, yeah, Kevin Hart would be great, man. Yeah. He only talk the biggest comic in the world. Wow. Well. We're we're a big co- podcast for sure, but you can't be throwing that stuff out there. He's not coming. I'm off. not throwing anything out. Just talking. Yeah. <laughs> OJ Simpson. Do you think if we, if we had OJ on, would we get backlash? Um, <laughs> uh, it would depend on how we handle the interview. Well, I'm obviously not gonna be like, uh, hey, Stabby McGee. 
You ever fucking, you ever think about killing bitches? Well, I mean, I think it'd be. Are you over that? It'd be interesting to talk about what his experience in jail was like. Yeah, I want to talk about jail. What's next? What's next? Then football. Second chances in in America. If you could, if you could have went back, would brain trauma been a big play in your whole uh, kind of, you know, your prosecution defense? defense? Yeah. I mean, there are a lot of great questions to ask him. Honestly, are you still into cocaine? You, I mean, oh, we could. Are you, you still talk, into cocaine and murdering people? Yeah, I mean, you could go into. Do you, would you, you like a new Bronco? Right. You, you think can go you come into the whole to murder if you wanted, but I mean, you, that's no been way. done a thousand. times. I guarantee times. you can't do that. It's been done a thousand times elsewhere. Do, you know, we were supposed to have Marsha Clark on the show. Do you remember this? Yeah. When I was balls deep in OJ Simpson, she had written. A her book people or right? reached out to us. They're like we know Brendan loves OJ Simpson. He keeps talking about the series, The People vs OJ, or America vs OJ on FX. Uh, and I loved it. Anything OJ and balls deep in, not the football stuff, the murder stuff. Yeah. S- not the cool stuff, the murder stuff. Sure. So I sure. love any doc, any of that stuff. And Marsha Clark's people reached out and were like, she would love to come on the Fire and Kid. However, she will she she will come on, but can't talk anything about the OJ Simpson trial. Oh. Well, yeah. I'm out. What the yeah. fuck are we going to talk about? Yeah, that's Even kind the of. The new book you wrote about. She's probably talked about it to death. And I thought, I would imagine matter, the book though, is about that. But it's that. relevant now. Yeah, it's very relevant. You can't talk like how you lost the biggest case of all time where you sh- where you dropped the ball. Talk about dropping the ball. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. How you were hooking up with the other dude midway Apparently through. Apparently he he'll how be the ball filling guy his was... car with gas. People drive by. Fuck you and all that uh, stuff. I mean, yeah. yeah, Brentwood when he's yeah. in Brentwood. That's the thing. You just you, it, like is he just going to come back to regular culture? They say he's going to move. To, he's going to be in Florida. He's not giving me an old Brentwood. Right. I think his kids are down there. Because where I eat, yeah, yeah, that's where they get in trouble. Because where I eat uh, breakfast mm-hmm. sometimes, uh, Raf San Vicente, the, the guy goes, oh, this is, and I did a bit on my show. They, they go, oh, this is OJ's, this was his favorite place. He would order the Eggs Benedict. I'm like, oh, all right. So is he just going to roll back? You know what I'm saying? Just roll back in there? I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure he'll find Even I would be, niche. even, I, you know, and I'm, listen, I, I'm, I'm pretty open-minded. I like everybody. Hmm. I'd be a little tense around OJ if he's in that bitch. I wouldn't be tense, but I'd... I would. Oh, he's got a... Because we know he murdered two... Uh, if he had murdered two people, it's tough. See, I don't look at it that way. You don't? No. That's all I can think no, about. No, I, I don't think of it that way. I think of it as um, he flew into a rage in one moment of his life, killed two people, and that that that, that, that doesn't make me afraid of him. It just... I look at him and I go, man, you, you, you lived story. your life by your own rules your whole life. Uh, I don't know... I don't know much about you. I know what the documentaries say and what which, I've which heard. Which get pretty balls deep not, into it. Which aren't very flattering. Uh, but it's from he's his a very best effective friends. guy. Yep. It's from his like yep. sources, yep. best yep. friends. Yep. So, so, you know, you got caught doing this thing because you kind of always felt like you were. I think that's the mark of a sociopath in the sense that you are seeing this guy. That's an affront to me. How dare you? And now I'm going to end you. Yeah. And I'm going to end him. Okay. But his charisma, there's also, they there's said, also is off crimes. The yes, it is. But there's like, also you know crimes. Even how, still, it is. You know like, how you know, I think still, it would go down? But there's still crimes of passion that all of us go like, so all of us can see. Uh, and I'll tell you a story. My my friend's, my father's friend, old friend. Uh, he, this is fucking 25 years ago. Murdered his wife. His wife, wife was, he, he's from a traditional country, you know, very kind of like conservative country. What country? Um, Pakistan. And he was had his PhD. Okay. And he was uh, married to an American woman. He found out she was banging a dude. Standard for and then American. And he confronted her on it, and she said something to the effect of, yeah, and I'm going to keep fucking him. So okay. he flew into a rage and took a lamp and bashed her in the head. Oh. oh. And then, but, you know. But, PhD but, in killing but, bitches. But, but, but he, he flew into a rage. He loved her. She was betraying him. And they always say betrayal. When somebody betrays you on that level, it throws everything that you know into into flux. Like you know everything. Like, uh, I've like who girl, you were, who I've had I a girl am. cheat on me. I've never been like I'm this gonna is, take this. This is this is this is. He had a child with this kid, this woman. The the point I'm making is that he he lost his mind, I've, and everybody. I have lo- no sympathy for him. Well, that's you, but I'm just telling you. You do be? Yes, I do. Whoa. I, I have anybody, anybody for OJ who, too. No, no, hold on. Just listen to me for a sec. So he lost his mind. And he bashed her in the head and he came down and he, and he was, he was crazy. He looked at his kids and he goes, I killed your mother. And he passed it. He fainted. Cops come. He goes away forever. Uh, He goes away. He just got out of jail. Obviously he can't find work. He can't find anything. I believe that everybody at one point in their life 
can be brought to that moment, oh, I especially when you're married as, or especially when you love somebody really badly and they, they, they betray you and you go you're like for a moment, but I don't know, maybe you didn't sleep for two days. Maybe you haven't eaten, whatever it might be. We know this happens. We know that good people can lose their control of their and impulse. Kill somebody. Sure. I just happens all the time. Happens all the time. And so the bottom line is, in my opinion, sometimes good people do very bad things. And you know what it takes? They they, uh, boom, they shoot you. They go crazy. They stab you with a knife. This happens. It happens in relationships. It happens with lovers' quarrels. The first thing they always do is, like, if somebody gets, like, stabbed in the face. It's a passion. Yeah, yeah. they go, if he got stabbed in the face, you know— um, I, th- I read a thing. I heard a cop talking about this, and I don't. Th- I don't. I don't think it's even true. But a lot of gay crime. Is, so, no, the guy gets gets face stabbed. Yeah, yeah, but also gay crimes. Is the is the worst domestic violence. Sure, because you you betrayed me. It's two men. You betrayed me. I'm going to kill you. You do that, and then you come out of it, and you're like, holy fuck. And I think a lot. It's almost like fighting. I, I actually believe if you if you're if you're in a bar and a guy makes you mad enough to to fight and try to really hurt him and knock him out, in a way, the times I've been in fights. I I wanted to kill the guy. I wasn't just going to punch him. I was I had deep hatred, and in that moment, I was trying to kill him. Can when you I, relate to this, Jen? Or am I the, am no. I the only normal yeah. person in the room? I'm telling you, B. I've never. Once, you're you're with, just a different sort. But with, I'm telling you, with, it's not with that my rare. girl. With so Joe and I have a baby together. If I came home tonight, she went. Listen, I just got done fucking seven dudes. There's nothing in my body that would go through my mind to kill her. That does not exist in me. Any fight I've ever been in, I've been in way more fights than you. Never once you, you've has been in, a you've been, but you've been You've also been in, um, what I'm saying is you've also been in. You're talking about street fights. Right? Yeah, I'm talking about I've street, been street fights. Fight, I've been more street fights than you. I don't think you've you, been but. in more than I've been. I don't. I've been in, Bro, I've been in a lot. You grew up rich. What are you talking about? Hold on. Hold on. Don't tell me that because you don't know what the fuck you're talking you have, about. You've been more you fights been, than me. I've been in as many fights as you've been in. Oh, my in, God. In, in, in the street? I know you, dude. Reality. You don't fight. I know you. Don't tell me oh that. Oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. wait. What, why? You don't know me. You don't know how I grew up as in as in getting in fights in a bar. You, all, you almost saw me get in two fights since you've known me. What are you talking about? Don't say that. You don't have the kind of temper I do. Don't don't act like you've been in more fights. You're acting like, oh, I grew up rich. First of all, I what promise the fuck you, I've been in more mean? fights with than you, Brian. What? How many fights you been in? I couldn't even count. You, I, I know you. I know a lot of people. You grew up in you. I know your personality. You weren't fight, street fighting all the time. I was street fighting. I was street fighting with my brother. The neighborhood we grew up. Sure, in. Sure, it was a way brother. of the, it's the way we grew up. Be. Yeah, I, I I fought plenty in high school and in college. Okay, you're some badass. I'm not. You're some no, no, badass you street fighter badass. Why are you badass? saying I'm a badass? Why are you doing that? You're I, being insulting. I'm not being insulting. being insulting. I just called you a badass. No, no, you're not. You're you're being condescending. What you're saying How? is you're going, oh, you grew up rich and you haven't fought. Don't say that. You don't know me. Why are you so upset? Uh, because I have a bad temper. Do you see so, how I'm so, not upset? Because exactly, I know what's true. Exactly. Because I know I what's true. Temper. I don't get defended. Oh, so I'm making up. I'm making up stories. About you make fighting. up a lot of stories. I make up a lot of stories. I make so so I'm a liar. Yeah, I'm a liar. Are you shitting me? Tell me a story I've made up, a real story. F- first of all, be careful now how you speak. B, you're telling me you, yeah. you don't exaggerate I, stories. I do not lie. I de- I never lie. You never lied. No, I don't lie when it when it comes to real stories like saying I'm a black belt, saying that I won the nationals, <sighs> all that, or saying I was a wrestler. That's lies. Have I ever done that? I have character. I don't lie. I'm not saying you don't have character. Yeah, no, you are. You, no, 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 no. I've character. never said you've never had okay, character. Okay, but you're saying I lie. What do you mean by I lie? You you've lied before for sure. Give me an example. Uh, late to the studio all the time, missing shows. I can keep going not, on and I on. I never lied about that. Guys, we all we all lie. Are you no, 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 shitting no, no. me? Hold on. I've never lied about missing shows. When I miss shows, I'm working. Uh, you've been late to the show. I go, what are you doing? You're like, uh, you, you don't make it. You even We're told me. We're joking me. around. When I, when I go, oh, there's a, there's a break, a main break. What do I do later? I've never in my life, in you've my never life, lied, lied to you, a friend like where I've gone. I've, I've made up a story and then not told you I was joking around ever, ever. I mean, what are you talking about? Did I lie? We this is both lied to each other. No, but not, you're not St. Teresa up in this. No, bitch. no, no. Hold on. We have not lied as in watch. This is a lie. Ready? Um, why were you late? Why were you late? Oh, um, because I had a doctor's appointment. And then you've never done that. Never for, for real. Like telling you that if I if I tell you I'm late now, you know where I lie. Do Watch that. This. No, no, hold on. This is a lie. If I'm if there are people waiting, we don't know. And then I call you up and I go, yeah, there's a there's a break. There's a water main break. Later on, I'm going to tell you 
I'm not lying. I'd never lie. Fighting is a great example. So fighting, the times I've been in fights, say in D.C. or whatever, the, the, the uh, let's call it six times that I can remember in college, all right, terrified, get in a fight because somebody starts something and stuff. If I were to tell you that I got in a fight and I wheel kicked this dude, then I punched him, to you, I've never done that in my life to a friend. I've never exaggerated. And I always talk about this. There's a difference between lies and lies. Uh-huh. And here's a classic example. We, have, we, we know somebody who talked about being in the towers, right, uh, when, when they came down. And well, what did I say? I said, here's the way I lied one time. I said, and I was talking about this is a fundamental difference between a lie and a lie. And this is very important. And we're going to get back to the original point so that I can talk about this. One lie is this. I used to say, well, I used to have my coffee in the, in, in the lobby of the fucking of the towers every, every morning. You know, in other words, what I was really trying to do was I used to have my coffee. I'd been there, but my coffee, there was a stand outside. You're trying to relate. Yeah. Yeah. So I I wanted people to understand that for me, when the towers came down, it was really emotional. Still a lie. Still a lie, but I, but I, but I was saying that's, that was the lie I would make. Not only, not to make myself look better, but I was trying to get people to kind of relate to the fact that I had an experience and it meant a lot to me. That's all. Or another example is this. Sometimes you ever hear like an amazing story and the way it's told is great and it's a friend of yours. And then sometimes you don't know the people. You tell a story like you were there. Why? Because it just, it adds to the story. It doesn't, it, it, then otherwise you don't want them to think, ah, he's just telling us third party. No, no, I want you to hear this great story because it's a great story. I don't really care that I was there or not. Remember, That's we got started on this because you said you've been in more fights than me. When you fight, you feel like killing the man. Yeah, yeah. So let's get back to that. What I'm saying is that good people, I believe, can do impulsive things sometimes. Not and kill. Sometimes, not death. Well, sometimes it's I think true. they can. And, and in fact, I think their the true colors disagree. I think their true colors come out. I think they've always been that person. And when they face adversity, their act, that actual person you think is good does the thing of passion. Crime. I would agree that that is absolutely I do not a hang out with anyone that has the capability of murdering someone if for whatever reason they slept with someone else. That's well, crazy. Well, well, so, so I don't so know. Anyone. I think I think that there is there is space for what you just said, which is 100 percent true. I think that most people like, would agree with like me. when people get drunk. If you're a good drunk, you're a nice drunk. Like I, I get drunk and I'm just nice. I don't want to fight. But if I get drunk because I like people. Drunk's a little different. Right. You're talking about chemical, chemically engineering yes, but, 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 and, and also messing with the b- biological uh, makeup okay, of your hold body. That, hold that but thought. In, hold that thought because I believe anger does that to some people. And I believe that sometimes your cortisol levels and all those other levels in your brain, we don't even know, when you fly into a rage, and it's why Texas re- recognizes what? An act of passion. A crime of passion. Exactly, passion. I saw my daughter in bed with this guy. I saw my wife in bed with that, and I shot him. It, it, it was recognized by the courts as you were, it's called temporary insanity. Exactly. That's a real defense, and people get off for it all the time. So what I'm still saying do time. is that, yeah, they don't but, get off. what we need to make, we, well, usually the, uh, temporary insanity, actually you can go to a hospital. So what I'm saying is that even the courts recognize, and, and there's psychological, there's psychology behind this, recognize that sometimes someone can be rendered temporarily insane. Okay? We know this. Does that make that I don't think person the masses a bad person? Do. Yes, it does. Now, I don't think the now, masses now, can to relate your, to this. To your point. I think that's the exception. Well, it is. Of course it's the exception. But to Otherwise your point. Otherwise you just be killing bitches sure, left and right. But to your point, it's true, and I agree, that sometimes when somebody gets um, crazy, Right. When somebody gets crazy and they kill somebody. And, and this is what I think with O.J. Simpson. I believe that's the mark of a sociopath because a sociopath will go, you're doing this to me and I'm going to kill you. And they say that one of the things that sociopaths do is they like the relationship is over when I say it's over. The murder's over when I say it's over. You know, that, that, that's I think he was always a bad guy. So or like control. that PhD guy, he's just a bad. I mean, well, we don't. Well, I, I, my parents know him very well. I don't know. And I don't know the man. I mean, I, I, everyone I, has, I, I, everyone has demons, Wait, so, right? You know, the OJ Simpson thing, the way the, the reason why I think it's extra creepy is because I didn't see the pictures, but everyone he I hear about seeing the pictures that he, oh, he, he tried to cut her head go, off. Yeah. Cut her head oh, off. Oh no, no, no. It's true. No, yeah. he hit so, her so hard. He, he almost decapitated yes. the first strike. Yeah. He hit her so hard. It was like, it was hanging on by a thread. Yeah. yeah I mean, it was like, horrific. You, I mean, he, they were both almost decapitated from what I read. So, so, uh, but, but he was, he was beating aside, her before. Yeah. 
But taking that aside, in my, my my opinion, like I think a lot of times in life, there is, first of all, let me ask you this. I mean, he did nine years and his life was basically ruined, lost everything. Okay. That's, I think he should be put to death. Well, perhaps that's why we have a death penalty, and I think it's still in California. Mm. But he paid; he's paid a pretty big price. Not, not maybe not, not the same life price. as yeah, no, not the same. No, as, but he's paid a big price. So, so for me, the idea of pun- more punishment for him, uh, I, I don't feel it. I, I, I mean, you know, I, I didn't suffer at the hands. I don't have a family. Remember, member he's still getting like the that. stipend of whatever is three hundred k a grand? year at least, yeah, which is why he probably moved to Florida because that goes not that far in so, fucking Brentwood. But, but still, right? yeah, I think you're also very like forgiving of people too. I think that's part of your personality. Well, I'd be a terrible cop because I am yeah. forgiving. That's, you know? I think that's just part of your personality. Well, it is. And I also do believe, and I do think that, again, there is something called temporary insanity. And p- good people do very bad things sometimes. It doesn't mean you don't pay the price, right? It doesn't. It doesn't mean you don't go to jail. Um, and I, But I actually think, to your point also, worth it? that I believe that that you know when you get flying to a rage, you're fucking, your, your brain chemistry probably can go crazy man it can change you know also your culture makes a difference your culture makes a difference honor cultures like they say honor cultures you know you can come from a culture look at all these honor killings they were having a problem with so a lot of like like in pakistan that's the way mafia sure in afghanistan like your 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 fucking daughter gets raped or your daughter commits adultery your daughter runs off with another guy and the brother kills her you know the father kills her this is happens all the time this is this is this is a uh, he's been brought up in his culture to believe if a woman betrays you, it's the ultimate sin and he flies into a rage because it's the biggest sin and he kills her. Okay. Now got to do time. I believe you should go to jail. I don't, I don't, I don't excuse it. However, in that moment, I believe he will regret it later on. I bet you he weeps in his fucking jail. OJ? Cell. No, I'm talking about uh, the guy who killed, uh, you know, the, the, right. So, the, so you have this situation, you have wife beaters that do this fucking, how many people who beat their wives, right? So, and guess why they keep bringing the, the wife keeps bringing them back. Baby, I'm sorry. It'll never happen again. He cries. He mm-hmm. falls to the ground. I'm, I'm going to help. And then he flies into a rage again and fucking beats and the finally kills her. kills her. Yeah. 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 You know, you know, Korean, a, Korean culture, a lot of it's, it's really well known that the husbands and boyfriends beat up their, their wives and girlfriends. It happens a lot. Yes, it does. Yes. That's my culture. But, I don't. Ha- I couldn't do that. So no. I think it also depends on. A, a lot you of you also too. got out of that. Like you also sure, educated but, and got uh, out of that. But I also yeah. th- I know that so well. And it, but you also take a swift hand in a bitch's face. That's I right. Mean, if it. But, and by the way, it, <laughs> b- b- by the way, by the way, Chin, you're you're a closet boy beater. But here's the thing: mm. uh, we know that a lot of cultures kind of because you grow up with the idea of there's a very strong place for a woman, a strong place for a man, and when that woman like humiliates you betrays you and makes you and your community and your standing, you know, kind of makes you look smaller. That's when the violence happens. That's when I leave. That's well, but, but yeah, we too. know also a lot of cultures fucking, he beats the shit out of the woman. He kills the woman. Cops come and go, what the fuck? Well, my culture, this is what we do. I have, I'm not saying it ain't bad. I'm just saying bad people, good people do bad things. Cultural reasons. Killing. I just can't chemistry forgive. reasons. I had a, uh, I had an aunt who's murdered by her uh, boyfriend and he pleaded insanity and got four years. Yeah, so you have you have an emotional thing around. No, him. I, I really I don't. That that was just that's whatever. I'm just yeah. saying he got four years off insanity. Four years. I would be how crazy so is pissed that? Off. Yeah, so I was too young. There's pictures of me and her, but yeah, there's, that happens. It happens because they can because if they can prove if a psychiatrist can prove that, you know, I mean, I don't know. Hey, I wonder if. Head trauma had anything to do with it too. Like sometimes. Well, that's what they're saying. If if the OJ case was now, brain trauma would be like a main. Yeah. You're gonna see all that stuff. Well, this right, Robert Sapolsky. Oh, did you see fucking? uh, I don't know if it's one of your current events. Ian McCall. Show on MMA fighting. It's not, but I did watch it. Did you watch it, Brian? No. He was on uh, MMA fighting with Errol Hawani. His interview. He's been on. He's been here before too. He did not seem like that at all. He's on the Big Brown Breakdown. Yeah. He's reached out to me a few times. I've been busy. And then he was saying how, like, if he could do it all again, he would never fight. And he was saying how he's having problems with his brain and uh, what else. And he has like, regret. He has how regret can, that he, he even started He regrets this. he even started because uh, he was saying how he could relate to Chris Benoit. How, you know, he brought that up, he, which he, is he, weird, yeah. But, th- but this is the thing. I thought it was weird, too. I did some research on it. Chris Benoit, you know, the, you know who he is? No. He was a WWE guy who uh, went into a rage, murdered his family, family and kids, <gasps> and then committed suicide. 
And they said it was because of steroids and all this stuff. Oh, I remember this. But but yeah. but if you talk to people and you look at like the history of Chris Benoit, before any of that happened, he was like the greatest guy. Everyone's like, dude, he's the greatest dad, the greatest husband, like an outgoing dude. So I think it was the brain trauma. Not yep. so much the steroids. People want to talk about steroids. I think it was more of the brain trauma. So Ian McCall was like, I need I need to get help because I see that happening before I'd ever hurt anyone. Really? And he he said he would never do well, it. So dude, he said he would never do, do it. it. So, so, so Robert Sapolsky, who did Rogan's podcast, he's at a... Um, I believe an evolutionary biologist, but also I can't remember what he does. He and he studies the brain, and he said that. So Joe said, as we learn more about the brain, what do you think we're going to do? And and Sapolsky said, I think a hundred years from now, fifty years from now, we're going to go. My God, look at how we treated our criminals, and when all along they had something wrong with their brain. So they find that poverty, stress when you're growing up. Mm. Uh, trauma fucks with the prefrontal cortex where they don't won't let you develop it uh, it doesn't react the same way it can be damaged and so it creates impulsive behavior violent behavior but what are you supposed to an do an inability to think ahead yeah but what are you supposed to do just let them like we, you know right like you, no but I mean you're right like, well, but so, like so, people so, say that now but even back in the day we're like god look what we used to do to criminals the way they torture them. epileptics but it's know? also like fuck man yeah but 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 here's or, the, or here, people who, who you know who had disabilities or retardation yeah we thought or, they were possessed by demons but they yeah they would, but here's here's my question because they couldn't contribute to society to be a rough life yeah but it raised, but at the time, it, it raised like, a little bit of a different question which goes back to what I was talking about punitive thing if you know somebody is kind of not in control of their brain for all the reasons we're talking about, head trauma, uh, poverty growing up, stress, whatever it might be, chemical imbalance. Then when they do something violent out of the blue, like this guy, Chris Benoit, or like, God forbid, our, our boy Ian. No, no, no. He's, he hasn't he's done just anything. He's feeling that. No, no, no. He's not even feeling he's not even it. Feeling no, no, no. I don't he mean, doesn't want it. Yeah, I don't want to cross the line. No, he's terrified. Yeah, he just said there's been cases where guys, and he wants to get help because he said down the road, 20, 30 years down the road, he doesn't have any of those. Yeah, he just doesn't okay. want to ever He doesn't have anything. But the like question that. becomes then, what do we, but what, what does punishment look like? It's a sad like? story. What does punishment look like, right? Like, what do we do then? Like so, you I think kill you'd, a bunch you'd, of you'd have to have a you'd have to have a prison that would help with brain health. Yeah, you'd have to lock them up. You gotta lock them up. You can't have them running the yeah. streets. Yeah, you gotta lock them up. But but, for Ian Makata, you read that that thing, and it is a sad story, man. I, I honestly, I don't know what he was, what was happening to him, but he didn't seem like himself. So I don't know what was going on. He was stuttering way more than he normally does. So I don't want to say been that fighting he was for a long stuff. time, man. But I mean, it was almost like out of nowhere this came out. So. I'm why did Ariel have him on? He was on drugs or something. Just why, why did Ariel have him on? Because he, he's not promoting oh. anything. I forgot why was he was on, but he was not going through whatever he was going through before they booked this the interview. Interesting. So right when he got got on the phone call with him or the Skype call with him, he just immediately said, Ian McCall said like this is not a good day." Oof. So something was something damn. happened to him like damn, that's literally like moments ago. Fuck it, dude. How when you that's text, how I talked to him. How when you text me? <laughs> I get the fucking. Uh, they had the article about the football players, and I just get oh 100, I get, 111. I get the I get the article. I mean, <laughs> Brendan goes, "I'm dying <laughs> for real." I was like, "How no, scary is that?" Everyone's had brain trauma. Everybody, right? That Ian McCall stuff scary though. I don't know. Last time I talked to him, he wanted help with his podcast, whatever story time, a little creepy. But it's the same thing, man. I go through this with so many guys with Cowboy, Creepy, uh, everyone who asks me. They, I go, "Have you been doing them?" Nope. There's no consistency. Oh, did you keep up doing them? Nope. No, I can't help you, man. Keep up, keep up. And like like doing a podcast. Like, oh, I did one, and then right, 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 I forgot. Right. Took four yeah. weeks off. I'm like, well, they're, they're, you don't you don't yeah. have a show. Yeah, you know, you have nothing. Do you think that f- as we learn more about the football shit, that that football will will not be? No, it's the, I mean, it's the biggest money maker in America. It's yeah. the biggest draw. It's just, it's it it is what it is. But man. It's, it's more. But plus, more I think stuff, I think if especially kids who are grow up in a, a poor economic stature, you ask them, go, hey man, you can become this, go to college, be in the make superstar, thirty million dollars, make thirty million dollars, or stay here, have brain health, live to your ninety, but you can be working at the CVS up yeah, the street. Yeah, yeah. You say, what do you want to do? I'll fucking play football. Every single one will say, oh, I'd rather live that life. Also, that study, like, it is true that most of their brain tissue is donated by family members because they were the ones they showing worried. signs. Yeah. And there are a lot of football players. I just talked to a fucking guy who played, a famous guy, and he's 60. And he's, fuck, who is it? Anyway, and I said to him, I go, do you have any of that? Um, who the fuck was it? And I go, do you have any 
and, you know, CT. And he goes, Symptoms. I don't, dude. He goes, that's I, the you first know. sign that you have it. Yeah, that you don't. When you're 16. Like, it, I'm it good. Probably affects. I promise you, you're not good. Yeah, but maybe it affects. Maybe it affects people differently, right? And maybe it. Affects, I don't know. They, do because, you think it affects everybody? Yep, in some way or shape or form. Yeah, but. Yeah, you mean different, like not always violent, just other well, stuff. like like some like well, so, you know, for some people it might fuck with this part of the brain, got it worse. So right. that they have real short temper and they're they 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 fly off the hinges faster and they're really impulsive. Then for another dude, they get really depressed. Yeah, they they're real down and out all the time. The other guy, he can't remember things, daily routines, uh, phone numbers, names. Another guy, you know, it just it just depends how it affects your brain. Everyone's brain's different. The way it was hit, the punishment the, took. Yeah, there's so That's many. There's so many things that go into it. I would also imagine too, like some people have an like are more injury adverse. Like they tend to be better at kind of, I don't know, seeing the, the shot. The brain's come. the brain, though. Like they were talking about this with the doctor, and he, it doesn't matter. They're talking about the, the position you play, the force. Like if. You know, in football, if you get hit and you're you're both 300 pounds, and you're both the same force. Your brain does not give a fuck. Yeah, because you're even Doesn't if you were in a helmet, you're still getting rattled. Does not matter. Yeah. If I'm Samoan, if you're white, if he's black. The brain's the brain. I'll tell you what it doesn't help me in boxing is fucking that headgear. You still get fucking. I actually hit. think it's worse for you. Fuck. So maybe I should. I mean, wear I don't. It. I don't know. Mm. Yeah, but brain traumas. Uh, uh, it's scary shit, man. All right, let's move on to the next current event. All right, the next one. And the point one. to take from that is I've had more street fights than Brendan. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, Brendan actually mentioned this to me dude. before. Oh, no. It's a mysterious flesh-eating sea bug that lives in Australia, the seas of Australia, right? I see? think this is Brisbane. Australia, you don't want to fuck around legs. with. What? He went, to the, he went to the ocean. Yeah, Melbourne. Like that. Wait a minute, hold on. Are you fucking kidding me? Here's the bugs Wait, right here. Is that here. eels? Did you do? No, no they're, they're little tiny little mice. I, I post things. a video of them devouring like uh, a fillet. What? Yeah, this is the really? One, I think. Let me see that. Oh, those are little fucking piranhas. sea fleas. It's just around all the world. Listen, man, I've been to a million beaches. I ain't never been tore up like that. Uh, yeah, I've seen those fucking things. I don't know, man. You know what? Mm. I don't Look know. Look at my eyes. Skeptical? I got some. I got some. Because this, yeah, the picture looks a little eyes. weird, right? It all, yeah. It's fake. You think that's, uh, it looks fake as shit to me. It, it really does. And also in a hospital bed, they don't do that. They clean your feet off. Well, what if you like. got rushed in? I guess. He's but, way too calm. Yeah. This yeah. is National Geographic. Ooh. They, National Geographic doesn't fuck around. Yeah. Not like they do my fake news. My eyes opened up a little bit. Just yeah, now. National, <laughs> National Geographic doesn't do fake my, news. My eyes opened a little Sticking a piece of meat in the water. Um, you know what? You know who that? You know uh, piranhas don't do that to you. They don't eat you, which I was surprised by. Did you know that? They yeah. don't bite people. So if you're if you jump in the Amazon, there are a bunch of fucking piranhas they everywhere. Bite you? Fuck no, they oh, will not man. bite you. I know. Really? No. That's the movies, huh? But they'll fuck a fish up. They'll devour. A they'll fish. fuck a fish up. I've seen I've seen on National Geographic but, where there's like. One big ass grouper fish, and he runs in. He's like, "Oh shit!" Yeah, it's like West Side Story. But you remember how they say like a cow swimming or a snake is yeah, swimming and they just go? Him? They don't do it. Which uh, in in like river in the monsters. mafia, they don't toss people. In... No, in the river monsters, it's river monsters. They're like, oh, no. Nah. But I wonder if you have like a big gash in your stomach. The piranhas will probably go for. They'll it, eat right? dead. So if you're dead in the water, they'll they'll yeah. they'll tear you up. Barracuda, fuck your life. Yeah, up. like they'll put a chicken in there and it's fucking. Barracuda, up. fuck your life. Up. Barracuda. You ever seen a barracuda in real life? I, I've, I've swam with I've caught them before. Oh, well, so fuck teeth. me sideways. We got two barracuda <laughs> experts up yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, I've swam the, with them. Like the real ones, they got some yeah. teeth, teeth on them. They got big I got teeth. small ones like this. Dude, how about when Cowboy's in there with his boy Mikey? I've known Mikey forever. His redhead, uh, who's always corn him. Yeah. We we're talking about lemon sharks. I went, man, fuck a lemon shark. And he hunts a lot. And he goes, you ever seen a lemon shark shop? I went, no, <laughs> no I'd fuck it up. Weird. He goes, hey, Chin, bring up a lemon shark. You ever seen a lemon shark? I've, I've ridden hey, one. Remember, remember, so, so we're, we're remember the, the, the bit we done, Fighting Kid 3D? Yeah. I was like, it, if it ain't a great white, fuck a lemon, yep. all yep. that. Yep. They brought, look at a oh, goddamn lemon shark. Okay, so check this out. So in Tahiti, the guy would take us, take everybody out, and you'd he, you'd be snorkeling, you hold your breath, and he'd go, come down here. Is that That's a great white right there, though. Oh, the, no, that's, that's a one. lemon. Yeah, that's a lemon. Yeah, yeah. that's a lemon. The bottom is great and they're, white. By the way, they're about 11 feet tall, long, or no, I don't know, but they're like 10, 7, 8. See how long they are. Are they the, the ones, ones that are, don't bite, though? 
Well, are those are the ones in like the they fucking would mess you up. aquarium. So, so we go down there, and the guy, the guy, the guy, the guy from Tahiti, he has us riding it. So I held onto the dorsal fin as it's riding. He brings you over, and you hold onto it. The guy goes, the scientist at uh, Tetsuya, where we're at, he goes, that is they're three point four meters. I mean, that's a fucking. Hey, that's type, in, type in, are, are lemon sharks dangerous? So he goes, first of all, that's dangerous. The scientist goes, that's dangerous. They could turn around and bite you, and it happens. And second of all. It's so fucking bad to do the shark. It's so disrespectful. So they, you know, went and found the guys. They were doing that for all of us tourists. So I got to actually ride it. Not that threatening. There are only ten unprovoked lemon shark bites. Hey, that's enough. Fatal. How about that? But it's not. Like, but you do have to watch P's and Q's if you're in them with the water. Yeah, mind they're not your like P's harmless. Because you know those ones. I think they're called reef sharks, where they have all the teeth. Yeah, they're harmless. They've never yeah. attacked a human. You can slap in the stupid fucking face. They do nothing. <laughs> Like the ones you always see in the aquariums, everyone's like, oh my God, shark. And the diver's in there like, oh, he's a rebel. The yeah. thing's a, the pussy of sharks. Yeah. <laughs> That's why they put them in those tanks. They look like Tarzan, fight like Jane. What else you got? This one, Usher. You Have you heard the story that Usher has like three people mm. accusing him of, have, of having herpes and having sex with them? Two of them are girls, one's a guy. Damn it. Damn it puts, he put herpes in some dude's ass? Uh, so actually, they tested the people, and uh, I think only one of them has herpes. So he definitely has it. So that's the he thing. He just didn't have a breakout when he's fucking these girls. This mm-hmm. girl is accusing him of. <laughs> oh, well, I don't know why. I don't mean to laugh. I'm talking okay. about Black Adele. So that's that's one of his accusers right there. Her name is Quantasia. Brendan, don't, why are you laughing? Her name's Quantasia. Quantasia Sharpton. All right. Well, uh, and that's her lawyer. A, a, I guess they this smell cannot funny. get any worse for Usher. Herpes, and this girl's like, yeah, I fucked him. All over the news, he has herpes, and he's denying it. What's well, no shit in yeah. other news? What what else? Uh, what's the other? Mm, that is, they didn't show the other. Maybe he goes for the girls with like low self esteem. You know, uh, to like like he views them as predators. Yeah, she's she's that. a hardcore one. <laughs> I mean, let's be real, folks. I, I mean, I've seen. I can't believe you just said she's a hardcore one. I mean, there's just that's I, a fucking t-shirt, and that's terrible to I'm say. I'm trying to add it up in my head. I don't, Dude. That's a one. It's hard to get down to one in my book. I see the good in everybody, but that was one. So messed up. I mean, it's just a one where I come oh, from. My God, and I'm not gonna do. That just popped out of you, dude. Yeah, it did, man. Oh, man. Uh, you can't just say she's a hardcore one like that, man. A one? Ah. Uh, God damn. Have you ever seen a one? There it is. Well, yeah, that's... um. Some people like it. You know, they like a little cushion. Well, so, well, I mean, a little. Or a lot of cushion, depending. Sharpton says she slept with Usher on her 19th, 19th birthday. birthday a few years ago. <sighs> Failed to tell her he had herpes. Yeah. Well, maybe at 19, she... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe the herpes like made her eat the world. Yeah, there's, there's a, and the other one's a dude. Yeah, two girls and one guy. Hold up, scroll down. What's her? Are those her post? Keep going. Which says I need money. Oh, yeah, that was from before. Um, and then so that was one of the arguments for her law team too. They said just because she's accusing him doesn't mean she she's not poor. She's still poor, and she was just saying that. Wait, I need some money. I feel like that would hurt her. Yeah. Wait, what? So oh, yeah. So the defense is like, dude, she obviously yeah, needs money. Poor. Oh, so she said this before. So enjoy my last couple of hours as a regular girl. And then she went after him? Yeah. I think so. Oh, well, you know what? When you do that, I smell bullshit. I don't know all you're going to smell. Brendan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I, hey, I, hey, Usher, I get it, man. I mean, you're lonely in New York on a Manhattan night. Yeah, there ain't no time in my life yeah. ever been that long. You never, you never, you never, you never went hardcore one. Oh, I've never been a hardcore. You never one. went <laughs> hardcore one. You never went HC HCO. <laughs> you never went HCO. Never went a hardcore one. That's a hard. That's a hardcore one. one. I've never. I've actually can say I've never been to a hardcore one. <laughs> I've been. I've been. I've been and enjoyed I a mean, hardcore four. Enjoyed it. I. I, I I've had good nights with sure. Grateful Fours. Yes, a Grateful Four. I'm not worried They're about They're not it at all. staying the night. A Grateful Four. But a this G- hardcore one, GF. this hardcore one sounds like she stayed the night and got oh, herpes. That's impressive. 
Listen, you know what? She probably feels great. So let She's me. So soft. The, yeah. Uh, claims Usher had uh, vaginal sex with at least one, one of the two women, and he had unprotected sex with a man. I never knew that. Did you know? Ever know that he was? You know, I heard gay? some of these celebrities just get bisexual. So oh, yeah. they get so many chicks, they get so fed up with it. Again, this is like saying people can murder people, and it's all good. I don't get it. <laughs> the, the, they they sleep with so many dime pieces. They're like, ah, what's next? They're just fucking dudes. You know, it's like. You said dime pieces too, and this girl is uniquely different. Well, Usher, so maybe... but you remember, remember, Usher started when he was fourteen with P Diddy, and he, in the heyday of P Diddy. So he he's yeah. saying he's at fourteen seeing sex parties. You know, it's basically like yeah. uh, off three hundred. When the, remember when that that fucking so he's been putting it down for a long time. He's seen a lot of shit. Put some numbers up. So it makes sense then he would want to try different things, like I don't care how many people you have been with a hardcore one. You never go hardcore one. <laughs> One thing I've seen about stars like that is that they get they, weird, right? They, they well, they tend to be busy as fuck and super disciplined. And if they do get weird, you never see it. Like they're no, really, no, really they get judged for. Yeah, it. they're if, if it does happen, it's happening behind three closed doors. For sure, you know what I, I'm I've saying? heard a story of, of, of super, super, super famous from a legit source who's a friend of hers, and she likes to get shit on between her titties. Wait. Yeah, you'd think a hardcore one would like that. This is a stone cold. Tan. She likes to have somebody take likes, a poo. Oh, you're talking about the Cleveland steamer. She likes that. Yeah. Why she like to be degraded or something? Like, yeah, get on the bed. Be, I gotta yeah. take a shit. Yeah. Human toilet. It's, yeah. Some people are into that. It's yeah. so weird. And she's super. I mean, super hot. I, like, I knew a. There uh, ain't a girl hot enough in this world for it. That shit, you, girl. You better be. You hey, better be athletic. I love because the, you're yeah. gonna have to get up off of a heavy pile of shit I, I, i've dropped some turds that will yep like you're you're you better be able to bench press some weight girl and it's gonna be hot i i love my six-year-old more than anything in the world he takes a shit sometimes and i gotta flush that thing oh uh, it's i flush and run it's a same bazooka time. i don't want any I, I i'm like what the fuck it's so horrific yeah shit i have sh- i Can don't you, care how there- cute you are sh- when it comes out of your body i'm i'm running in the opposite direction the, th- the thing we used to do in college, we, you would uh, hack into someone's computer, and you'd save their screensaver as scatbabes.com. You oh. know what scatbabes is? Sure do. Or do you know what lemonparty.org is? Uh, do you, do you my know friend th- told me Lemon Party. Lemon Party is people. about P, right? Mm, can you go to it, Chen? No. Lemonparty.org? No. Lemon no. Well, Just go to it, it for kind God of damn it. I don't Just, want that on my computer. Well, no. no I got to see it because 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 I knew, I, I knew a girl. It. I'll Google it. <clears throat> Google it. I knew a girl. And then go to images. I knew a girl who used to turn tricks. Lemonparty.org. This girl used to turn tricks. I think it's still And up. a guy made her get, would pay her a fortune. He would have her hold her pee all night. He wanted oh, the morning yeah, yeah. pee. He'd get in the bathtub and he would. she would pee on him and he see, would drink it all. See, peeing's a little different, I feel yeah. like. Well, he would drink it? He'd drink it all. Dude, I'm talking about dropping logs, son. Oh, so think Lemon about Party. The mess. No, no, no. No, no, no. Lemonparty.org's not. There, there's a picture right there. You can enjoy that one. Click on that. Click on that. For, yeah. Let, let, see, but they got rid of the cocks involved. It's old men. <laughs> well, threesome. you know, man, <laughs> is it? That is just not my scene. <laughs> it ain't my party, bro. I if I just can't. Nope. Not. <laughs> Why did you tell me about that? <laughs> we used to save it on people's screensavers in college, and they walk in like, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it is right. That's it's, Lemon Party Dot. Some guys having a grand old Look time. Look at those guys. Someone's grandpa's just, just having a grand old away. time. And then someone's grandpa's swallowing cock. Man. Oh, man. Huh? Yeah, that's tough to see, isn't it? It is tough to see. At least see. he has a good body. Um, <laughs> yeah. What was I going to say? All right. That's enough. I don't know that. how we got started on that. A whole that. bunch of warm cheese on a bed. I don't know how we um, got started on that. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I heard of this, the, like I said, super celeb girl. Just loves fucking... Cleveland, really? Cleveland Steamers. You, I need to know who this is. Now. I will after this, yeah. And you have a good resource. Super legit really? source, yeah. She yeah, and she would ask multiple dudes like and she was dating celebrity dudes and they'd be like, No. Uh, Think about the cleanup. Yeah. My friend just went on a- just go mull that for a second. Yeah. Think about the goddamn cleanup. You basically gotta live like Dexter. Well, also, who are you telling? The whole place would have to be plastic. But how do you break the news? Like, how? Like, like Nick Swarson has a great joke. I'm sure he's done a special by now. But he would always go before the internet. Trying to find somebody who is kinky was really hard. You had For to kind sure. of be like, "Hey, you like getting shit on?" I got no. <laughs> Me neither. Just kidding around. <laughs> yeah, you gotta figure <laughs> you gotta, it out. Yeah, yeah. You gotta figure it out. Yeah. Now you can find that shit. 
Oh, now there's, uh, I mean, there's chat rooms dedicated. Chat rooms like, and communities. Shit, there's scat babes, shit babes, shit kids, so, whatever. So some people, so she likes to have, but how would you, hey, want to take a shit on me? Because I know a very famous, I know somebody who dated a very famous news person, and she goes right for the bunny hole. Nikki. Oh, yeah. Uh, but the, see, that's a little different. If, a little if you're different. getting freaky, whatever, yeah, I'm up for whatever. Yeah. You, when you're talking about shit? No, no, that's what I, I draw the goddamn line. I would line. say so, sir. That's the line. You want to know where the line is? That's the line. That's a big problem. Anyone listen? That's the hard line. Sure is. There's it's no my, crossing. It was always my issue with anal, anal too, because you know you got you, when you pull your your piece out. It's a I'm gonna I'm gonna steal from Jimmy Schubert, but it's a bit of a sewer pickle. You know what oh. I mean? You're like, hey, uh, why is it? Uh, hey, there's a I got a little. Is that a leaf? A little brown leaf or uh, something? Sewer on that. pickle. I feel Wait, sick. If you said you draw the you guys draw the line at shit, so you're cool with piss no i'm definitely not <laughs> but i'm just saying i can understand piss like all right the guy like, drank you piss. know what I, again i'm open-minded if, <laughs> if, if if she was a stone cold 10 if that model that english model was like listen i'm down to do whatever you want but after in the shower you just gotta piss on me like <laughs> yeah all right you just have to piss anyway that's all i have to I, do first of all wait i don't have to pay you or just talk your ear off into doing this can all I night you, can I all i have to do is piss on you yeah yeah can i ask you but a close your eyes because i have a heavy stream you ever been hit with a super soak in the face because it's gonna fuck your eyes up you big boy with big bladder and lots no, of muscle no right i got a hose yeah, you got a hose no this i'm fucking fire hose but let me ask you this have you, and you can be honest and we're on air so it's a little weird but you ever have a girl kind of allude that she wanted to have you pee in her never her mouth? in her mouth you have i have what i've had a woman say that that's something because we i can't remember how it came up but she was there was something about a girl who liked it or a guy did that to her. I know. I remember exactly what it was. I remember exactly what it was. And he, my buddy told us, he goes, and she, she drank my piss. She likes me to dominate her. And we were both like, I was like, what? What the fuck? That nice girl? And he goes, yeah. And I go, all right, well, you're a freak. She's a freak. Oh, she, wait. There's a big difference between drinking piss and getting pissed on. Shh, drank. Well, no, that's different. So the girl that I was with. Again, I'm going to put up some a long shit time ago, on. by the way. The girl, was a, she was a freak. And she goes, I can see that. And oh, I was no. like, you would let me do that? She goes, yeah, I'm, but, you know, only you. And I was like. Well, then you want to do it? Uh, little, yeah, I was, like, I was like, I really appreciate How's that. How's this work, though? Because you can't pee with a boner. So you just have this limp dick? You take your limp dong out. And be, again, I'm not really into that. I'm not interested in doing that to you because I'm not going to get anything out of it. Like, get on your knees. and like, get, you know. But you know this happens. This is human beings. How do you have a limp dick while she's on her knees, like hot as fuck, pissing in her mouth? I don't get how it well, works. Well, I didn't. I don't get the... Yeah. Because if I have a boner and you're on your knees, I mean, that thing is spraying. I have no uh, idea what... Yeah. It's like yeah, some... It it's like some four-year-old with a... Fo- very it's hard. Just, yeah, very hard to pee. No, it's not even the straight stream. I can't... I have no idea. It's like It breaks spray. apart. Yeah. That's what happens to me, too. Oh, everyone does. It gets does. all over the floor in the fucking toilet. Yeah. I'm like, hey, what's going on over here, Forks? It's dick? not a straight shoot. It's like, yee-hee! Super sprayer. It's like you got to put it on, on jet, not on, on spray. SR Cali. All right. That's his thing. That's some guy's thing, huh? It's a dominant thing. They say Trump likes to get pissed on. It's very well known. In <laughs> he's his a circles. German. He's a German germaphobe. Though they he even said that. that but when they that also said he loves getting out. dominated. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I guess Ivanka Trump probably runs a pretty tight ship. She looks saying. like a tough. You know, cookie. Ivanka's a daughter. Oh, I'm sure she's Melania. 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 Yeah. Melania. 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 She's she seems a like a tough customer. Babe. 45 year old. Oh, is she 45? Yeah, you don't get better looking at 45. Than that. It's just personality that stuffed koala bear, but whatever. I don't know. Cold hearted bitch. She's something else. Is she 45? Yeah, 47. 47. She's killing it for 47. Yeah. She's, she's, she's a classy woman. What else she's you got, Jen? Trump. Mm, this one. Rihanna posted a picture on her Instagram, and Chris Brown commented, It's just making a bunch of. Uh, Headlines well, out obviously now. would know in their past, right? And, and he's, he's he has like it. a restraining order against her, didn't he? I mean, she, she has, has one, one against, against him, him, right? They still, probably still. I bet, it, I bet it's I still love there. She's. Oh, I'm sure. But they she looked really good here. I mean, good. Jesus Croninos, Croninos, <laughs> Jesus Croninos. I'd, I'd shit on her. Hey, no, you wouldn't. Yeah, I would. And I would fight you. If she asked me, I would do it. Even though I've had more street fights than you, I would come in. If she asked me, I would do it. I would never do it on Rihanna. Uh, she was like, listen, B, no. I will fly to Rio right now. But when you get here, in order for us to hook up, 
You got to shit on me first. She would never say that. No, I'm and saying, I wouldn't that's, let you. That's the only case. I would throw myself between her and the shit and, and you take, take it. it. I'd be and like, you no. Live, you take a live turd for her? I sure would take a live turd for her. What, what's no. it? What's he, oh, just he just put those googly eyes. That's it. Good night. Hey, I don't blame him. There's some women so painfully beautiful. Yeah, it's she, just and, like, oh, God. And, and by the way, can sing her ass off. Like, how talented do you have to be? Dude, you look like that you, and you can do sing? you know how big a... a Freak she is in the sack. No. They say she is just hungry. Dependent. Really? <laughs> hardcore one. Jesus Christ. I can't believe you just said that. I've never heard that the expression. The hardcore one. Chris Brown's super thirsty. Yeah, she's, that was a, she's really something else. She might be the hardest girl in the world, huh? Yeah, in many ways. She's in my top one. I'll give that to you. She's my hardcore in one. Yeah. Like in my top list. Yeah, I mean, if they said you got won. the hottest woman in the world, you're like, who's going to be? And they said Rihanna. You're like, yeah, I got it. There's not a whole lot of argument there. No. She's so delicious. Maybe you don't want, I don't, do you want a wife for those things? A bit of a, what's that? She might be a little, not, would you want to marry Rihanna? Like, you don't want her as a mom, right? I don't know. I bet you she, I don't know. I mean, like do you remember her from way back in the day on a MTV show where she went on a, like a prom date with some kid? Yes. She was like the nicest, most innocent girl. Yeah, not back now, then. son. Now, well, now I think superstardom totally can be. It's kind of tough. I don't know. Uh, she, yeah, she's killing the game. What else you got, Jen? Trying to see here. Um, oh, this one. I don't know why this just looked funny to me. So, this first place runner in a fifty mile, fifty mile, fifty meter. What is it? <laughs> okay, fifty meter. I have an opinion on this, and I want to hear watch. yours too, brother. So this is a 10K run. Okay, so okay. This- uh, I would go ahead and uh, fi- I, if I'm the same place runner, I'm finishing first and dragging him. That's in exactly second. right. So the second place runner. That's exactly right. And, and I actually have a problem with it too. Here's why. Ready? Yeah, why look, throw him down like that. He didn't win that race. No, okay. But he threw him down. Yeah. But also it's unfair to the guy behind him because the guy behind him could have caught him. Wait, so just for the listeners, uh, second place runner, there was a first place runner that was losing his footing because he was about to pass out. So the second place runner actually held him up and then Carried him over the finish line, chucked but then he the chucks him yeah, in the end. See, I, I would have, I would have finished first, and then kind of carried him behind me because that's the way life works. But um, yeah, I agree. People with say you. it's a good sport. Well, I don't think it's Jake, a good sport because Jake. it's not because it's not a real victory. So what happened was you didn't make it, and actually you collapsed. So you might have not even finished the race, right? right. So shook. your buddy picks you up and runs you across. He beat you, but he gives you that charity thing, and the dude right behind him is running really fast. He was supposed to come in second place. It says good people doing good things. I get that, mm, but I don't know. I don't think so. I think it's weird to me. Yeah. A little what weird do you to think? Too. Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't know what's on the line. If how serious is it? Are they yeah. friends? Are they family? I have no idea. It's marine. Oh, you know what though? They're marines, right? Or the marine division beach? No. Uh, oh, it's a marathon. I don't. Oh, it's know. It's just a marathon. Just a marathon. Oh wait, you get a thousand dollars for the finisher. Man, it's fine. Fuck it. So he didn't get a thousand dollars. Yeah. Maybe it's and it's fifty meter race. He deserved to win. No, he didn't. Good people do good things. See, yeah. see what it says. Hey, bring up that article by that uh, the UCLA quarterback Rosen. You know what I'm talking about? You saw he had a great article. So he's a uh, he's the I mean he'll be a top pick in the draft NFL draft. He's a quarterback for UCLA, and they asked him, and he's also a brilliant student. His dad's a, a, UCI a, a, a uh, neurosurgeon. He's a beast. Uh, so he's he, I think his dad's a neurosurgeon, and he's a big time PH you know uh, doctor something like that. What was it again? Um, UCI? UCI? For UCLA, for God's sakes. <laughs> oh, <I don't laughs> no. Fuck. God damn it. Shit me. Right there. Uh, Bruin says Josh football Rosen. and school don't go together. I find this interesting. Because it's all over. Because he says, it, you know, and he's a good student. Gets really good grades. He's a captain of UCLA football. He'll be right. a first round draft pick most likely if wow. he has a good year. He's a beast. Really wow. smart kid. I think he's an accountant major or, or a statistic major. Mm-hmm. Anyway, he just goes, uh, read this. He goes, look. Foot, he's taking so much Look, football read. and school don't go together. They just don't. Trying to do both is like trying to do two full-time jobs. There are guys who have no business being in school, and they're here because of this path to the NFL. There's no other way. Keep going. Then there's the other side that says raise the SAT eligibility requirements. Okay, raise the SAT requirement at Alabama and see what kind of team they have. You lose athletes, then the product of the field suffers. But he's taking heat, but it's he's so... He's, Dead on. Yeah, he's telling the truth. But and he's also a kid who gets good grades and doing both very well. Yeah. And so everyone's all, all up in arms because he mentioned Alabama, but it's so goddamn true. Yeah. Yeah. And also, let's be honest, they don't get a re- education anyway. I've heard you talk about it. They, but like, if you, there's some guys I know who 
you know, they were they weren't great football players, and they really focused on school and they got education. But to be like a super high level, it's gonna be tough to get an education, man. Like really focus on school, yeah. get a good degree, and remember. Well, like it's just all learn. encompassing, right? It's you're, a it's a full time gig. Football is one hundred percent full time. Uh, mainly year not only the physical stuff, but you're you're rewatching non-stop. tape, right? Nonstop, nonstop, nonstop. Working out, training, practices. This he hit it right in the nose, man. People are upset, up in arms around. Him. But I think everyone who's been through college football or anyone who's been around, it's like, I, don't, I mean, I don't know why everyone's upset. Why don't you pay the players if they're if it's that full time of a job? That's how I feel. You're not getting an education. You know, give them give them a nest egg. I mean, would you some, pay? Would you play college D one college ball players in a program like that? They in should Alabama? as much money as they're making. Yeah, hell yeah, yeah they should. That's a whole another animal. I just think it's funny how much shit. Yeah, it's all over sports right now. How they? Oh, come on! You can get educated to play football. And he's like, you can, but no one comes here to get an education. Really, you know? Yeah. It's like two full time jobs. Yeah. Like because and and but the the athletic departments know that because they give you a schedule that's pro friendly of you making sure you don't miss any practices and make sure you're getting rest. So you're not getting the same schedule as other students. Right. So how can you say that it's you're getting the same education? Like it, no, they, And they sign up with teachers who are going to be way more lenient if you miss tests, and they know you're not going to turn in on time. And so it's just you know, my, my biggest, you're not on the same level playing field. My biggest you're problem, there to win football. And right? my biggest problem is that the the – you know, they say, look, you're here to get an education. You get- you'll get an education and you'll play football for us. Okay. Okay. So we know that most guys in a D1 program actually don't go on to make it in the NFL. Not only that, even if they go to the NFL, they last how long? Right? Average career is three and a half years. Thank you. Three and a half years. So, okay. So let's see. You guys made a fortune off of them. They got no education. They made you a shitload of money. Now they are out of college with no education and no money. Hmm. I don't like that deal. It's a shitty deal. Sure, you had a great time playing football, and you can say you played at Alabama or Oklahoma, but you still got to go out there and make a life for yourself. Uh, It's funny to me how much shit you get for being real. Yeah. When everyone's going, uh, uh, especially especially a lot of the kids I played with, probably going, yeah, that's probably fairly true. Yeah. And the kids who really focus on education weren't that good of football players. (laughs) Should we wrap? Yeah. Okay. Why is it time to go? I think we have a phone call soon. All right, two thirty. Make yeah. We got a very high powered phone call, ladies and gentlemen. Oh snaps! Really quick Where dropping be, knowledge. V? Real quick dropping knowledge. I thought was interesting. Really quickly. Are they calling? Oh, I'll be chain? in Seattle. So come see me this weekend, Seattle. You bastards! I'm at Parlor Live, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So that's this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Very quickly. Um, so uh, I just want to talk about how when you frame something, if you're trying to make an argument, frame it in a way that people can understand. Use language that that person respects. When Do you know when they were doing uh, – when they wanted – in Texas, when they wanted people to stop littering, they, they, were, they were telling guys – like Bubba's in Texas. They're men, yeah. right? You got to talk to them. So they're like, keep America beautiful. Yeah, and, and, stuff and they can relate like, to. Fuck you. Like, keep America beautiful. Texans are like, I'm Texan. I'm a Texan. I'm not American. I'm Texan first. Yeah. And they're like, keep me. So you know what they came up with? Keep Texas great. Don't tread on me. Oh, nice. And don't tread on me. I thought don't really... tread on me was the Marine thing. No, it's Texas. I thought it was the military no, thing. No, it's a Texan thing. So so they said they once they made that with a with a litter sign, like saying no litter with a thing through the, you know, dropping, litter went way down because uh, Texans, you got to know your demographic. You got to know your demographic. You got to know how to talk to them. And when they try that's to change it, to, can, can we change it to "Don't tread on me, please"? They were no. like, "No, man, no, that's not, that's that's not going to work." Yeah. Same thing with Stephen Jobs. I was watching this marketing thing because I've been trying to get into a little marketing because I'm such so bad at it. And uh, he said, "When uh, we talk about um, we're, when we talk about when milk, when the milk industry for 20 years tried to get people to drink milk, and they kept talking about why it's good for you." Why it's got minerals and vitamins and everything else. And milk consumption kept going down, kept going down. Then they came up with got milk. And got milk, everybody started drinking milk. And it, was, it wasn't even about milk. It was actually about the, fa- the absence of milk. Yeah. And people did, but it was a value. It was, they were, you were selling a value. Yeah. Stephen Jobs, same it's thing. simple, He yeah. goes, I'm not talking about computers. I'm not talking about bits. I'm not talking about speed. I'm not talking about price. But all the geniuses in the world, he goes, Einstein, all of them, Amelia Earhart, all the people that changed the human condition, they would have used a Mac. Everybody started laughing. But you know what they did? They think different, and that's what he, where he came up yep. with think different, and yep. that was that was that was it. He sold a value. So just know how to talk to somebody when you want to make, make a point. Um, nice. Yeah. All right. Boom. Uh, when's when's the Long Beach show, Chin? That's the only one. Uh, I'm not at. If you listen to this 
right now you'd be late anyways, but I'm not going. Uh, we have to reschedule the Ice House. I think we're rescheduling it for the end of uh, August or first week of September. So I'm not at the Ice House tonight in Pasadena. I'm not sure why that's still up, uh, but I am in Long Beach on September 22nd. That's September, right? 22nd, yep. Long Beach Laugh Factory. Um, those are almost sold out. Long Beach Laugh Factory, September 22nd. That's on my next show. And we're rescheduling the Ice House one, and we'll have news for you. TFAT K for Brian, myself, any show you want to see. Get them! Get them. This is the Fire Kid, you hardcore ones. We're out! <laughs>